If you are playing with someone and you don't know, it, it's always entirely reasonable to say like, hey, can we play on this stage? Uh, just like, especially if you can't see well on a stage or something, try to make it so you're actually able to play the best of your ability. But looks like we're getting some orange hull zoning, gamma waves with the sentinel drone. But Remcho gets in there with his Captain America. Doesn't quite get the confirm though. And the happy Ooh. birthday is the result of dropping it. Goes right into super as he should. And with Evil Ryu is going to be able to finish off not one but two characters. But we've seen Dark Novas before. Do you think that Tutamax will channel his inner Among Shadows and be able to do it with the Anchor Nova? I do think it's possible. Their skill level can oh. to rise every tournament they play in. Hang on. Thank you, Scatter Coin. Is it a sub? Is it vertical? I... Oh, and Nova gets that hit. X Factor still three quarters available, but it goes right into Captain America's buttons. But Remcho didn't super jump forward, and because of that, Tutamax is going to destroy this character with the greatest of ease. It's all up to Sakura. Uh, and if Tutamax gets the hit soon, he could do it uh, just immediately because of X Factor. And with that, Tutamax drops the combo. Remcho has X Factor available. Very smart. Uh, and the block! Punished. Oh no, that, that didn't end up confirming the way that uh, Grimshaw needed. And gets access. Uh, oh no, this is something that uh, Tutamax can do something about. The human rocket is going to catch, and with that, Remcho Sakura is going to die. Tutamax coming back from the jaws of defeat with only his Nova after getting happy birthday at the beginning of the round. Okay, gets him into the mix-up. The big difference to talk about between Orange Hulk and regular Hulk is that Orange Hulk trades away armor for movement in modern mix-up style. Mm -hmm. It's true. Uh, he, his dash works more like regular characters instead of the characters that have the limited jump cancel dash. Uh, so he gets the blink dash around, zoom about, and it has lots of confirms off of things as a result. He has uh, the ability to gamma charge in the air, which allows him to have air mobility. Incredibly powerful character. Cross under mix ups and cross over mix ups, too. Ooh, got the hit here. And should be able to confirm with Nova into the kill. Ooh, drops the evil view. But this is looking scary for Remcho. Only Sakura left. X Factor is available, and X Factor got him so close last time. But looks like this time we will get another chance to play. Nice. Oh, and catches him with Hadoken. This is the end of Orange Hulk. What mix up's going to be here for Nova on incoming? Make What's sure he's not pressing buttons. Hit those toxins. Oh, the, that's some scary situation to be in. The human rocket going to the other side. This time staying out instead of trying to go back into the mix like he did in the previous game. And with that, two to max kills off soccer, taking game number two against Remco. We see. So it's a lot of the of folks consider these characters pretty aggressive, but we see both two to max and Remco here doing some full screen behaviors, uh, throwing out the field slashes, hitting with the gamma waves while summoning drones. Ooh, and the mix is real. Hits with the standing H, and even though it doesn't have armor, it still confirms super easily, just like Hulk. Baked cross up. Brutal. Ooh, this is going to be the end of Evil Ryu. Takes three meters to do it, but has X Factor available, so if they hit, it's still going to be easy to kill Sakura. And with that, it looks like Tuta Max is going to take the set in a swift 3-0 against Remcho. Uh, I'm going to have to hop off in order to play my match against Shogundo. Uh, and I just wanted to say, Nick Bad, on last Wednesday, you said you wanted me to play uh, King Thor, so I'm playing King Thor. Good luck and have fun, uh, Shogundo. <laughs> Your wish was bestowed, dear Nick Bad. Are you ready for this match? Uh, with the Leon versus Clea matchup, 
I feel like his shotgun would be very good at controlling lots of spaces she likes to be in, but I also feel like she just has such good potential if she's able to avoid him for long enough to get some hands, and then get in in a good situation. Nice combo. Double is just getting that first hit. And this is no meter to DHC, but Klee is a very low health character. It's only going to be one more chip string or something that puts her in a bad situation. Oh, but she got the throw, and with Star's Jill here, going to get so much damage off of it. Leon's going to die, probably for a single meter. Oh no, drop it! Wizard Tim, uh, cold hands in, in these icy months. I had imagined. Great throw. I like how Leon's death screen is like twice as long as most characters. He has like an entire second sound he makes. Bye bye, Clayus. Oh. <laughs> and that side blade assist so good prevents people from pressing buttons. And hand growth immediately ready for the TAP. Oh, and this is a chance to get both of them. Was able to cap Gambit. Uh, how do you feel about this X Factor usage? Because it's pretty scary to try and uh, fight Dormammu. Oh, that, that that's a curious choice by Dobblicious, but maybe it was the right one. Saved Gambit, immediately got in with the Cajun Escape, used the level 3 as a dodge. Uh, Dobblicious, playing with a unique style today. Great throw. Damn. Oh no, small body. Oh, and Psylocke gets hit, but it doesn't confirm in time. And with that, uh, is Tangrowth going to die here? No, still has a couple pixels on Star's Bill. This character can easily kill if on a hit, so this is going to probably be the end of Psylocke, and then that means, uh, oh no, the Tiger Knee uh, medium guns didn't end up working out. Ooh, still has three on deck. Oh, and had the incendiary, but the sweep finishes it off. Dobbleish is taking the first game in a nail biter. The, they were both swinging that game, Wizard Kim. Very big on uh, dealing of Dormammu, too, is I feel like Dorm wins the Gambit matchup. Mm. I'm curious to see how they each approach this because uh, there had been. If you leave a character alive with a pixel, they are threatening, but there's just so much stability that's happened with that Gambit Psylocke. And this time, uh, Leon taking a decent amount of damage. Ooh, Psylocke gets shot a little, but she still has plenty of life. Still an entirely reasonable assist. And Tangrowth manages to get around the anti air assist. Uh, when you run into a lot of those, whether it's like uh, Cyclops or Psylocke, you could get over them by getting to normal jump height and either air dash or similar things. Or if you could get behind them before they get in, it allows you to get around and not deal with their invulnerability. Kind of like Marvel Wow, manages to air challenge and stop the flame carpet. Would you spend Dex Factor and level 3 here? Oh, there's a TAC! Mmm, can't go for it, it twice, though. It's always nice to see players be on uh, on deck and ready for that second one, because often people can just like feel like it's over, they got hit by the TAC, but being ready to still break it is incredibly important, especially when people don't necessarily have infinites ready from all the different directions with each of their characters yet. Hey, that's the buff. Uh, I guess it's already over. That was ambiguous. I didn't think he crossed like that. Ooh, and Clea has a pixel. We have seen what pixels have done. Ooh, catches with that. Doesn't decide to use X Factor and dry tags Dormammu. Uh, but this is looking so good for Tangrove. Even though she's down on meter. Oh no, it no longer is. If you get happy birthday with your assist, it kills off Star's Jill, kills off Dormammu, and now it's all up to X Factor 3 Clea with just a fraction of life. She can't even eat too much chip here. Oh, one set of kinetic cards caught her, but now gets out the flame carpet. Almost catches. And a throw. I think she could kill here. Oh no, she was too far away for her OTP. But still has a tiny bit of X Factor. If she hits Psylocke, Psylocke is dead. There will be a level 3 available and her level 3 kills. So if the mix is real, oh my, Dobby was just ready, coming down with that air H. Really good hitbox, able to uh, make sure that there's a defensive wall there that is harder for Tangrowth to get in on. 
Okay, one last chance. Immediately gets the buff. Who gets in, gets the hit, but the Psyblade connects. Dogalicious has been making great use of that defensive assist. It has gotten so much value for them. And also taking advantage of the fact that Leon's stand S has a lot of range, and so does Gambit's. So even if they're knocked relatively far away by backwards movements plus Cyblox, uh, Dobbleicious has been able to confirm off of it pretty consistently anyways. <laughs> I felt like just invalidated the fish hook there. Oh. That's just the buttons. Dobbleicious's Leon likes to kick people. Like, we're seeing a bit of the guns come out, but we are seeing a lot of the stand S. Uh, and, oh, this isn't gonna chip too much. Oh, Jill manages to get in without too much risk and the potential to kill. This is the end of Leon, and Can Growth has potential incoming mix up. Incendiaries are set up. Ooh, second incendiary. And the strike hits, and all those backwards hitboxes are enough. Dobbleicious is going to be able to kill off Starfield. Besides to use X Factor for it. How do you feel about X Factoring instead of DHC? Um, a little bit of confidence against Tangrove Stormamu, but they've been having a little trouble uh, playing on the level. So this could pay off. Ooh. But if your X Factor runs out and Dormammu is still alive, your life is bad. And X Factor is out. So let's see, because two meters available for Tangro. Um, patches with the Dark Hole just in time. Let's see what they invest here on Gambit. Setting up some pillars. Ooh, he's taking some chip, but no, the Cajun Escape is able to maneuver quickly enough to avoid the pillar, get in on Dormammu, and this is going to build level 3. Oh, went for a re uh, regular super instead. Then chip does not exist here, you are potentially in trouble. But uh, Dovalicious is going to take that 3-0 over Tangrowth. It's the 3-0, but it was close though, right, Wizard Tim? Like, Very even close though, each uh, match. Even though Dobbleish just took it all three games, those were down to the wire, last character going on with Dorn. Dobby been grinding really hard so far. I think you mean Pepsi Man. That is, that is a snowman. And Rashid, okay, another hyper, uh, let's just say active character for, you know, I swear to press all the buttons with. True. Low damage, very strong mix. Nice I pick up. And you know, out of all the times I've actually seen King Thor, which has only been like on a like less than one hand, I've never seen that assist. It's very good for combo pickup. I'm not sure how good it is in neutral, but you have X, so <laughs> all the tools you need. Hit stun fell apart there. Damn. Last hit of Shockwave popped up too high, so you're going to miss out on that necessary damage with a kill. Oh, going all the way to X, okay. Maybe Ice Sarah's just feeling this matchup against Cyclops. Which, if you're going to pick a zoner, you can... did that do like a kind of like a slow fall state? Seems to slow fall, yes. Looks pretty active too, huh? judging based on how like long Jean was in her block animation. It also OTGs, I believe. It's a very good. Of course it does. <laughs> that was. <laughs> does it hit low? No, oh, it's it's a high. Or I mean a mid. Uh, and too bad zero is not this cool in the base roster. Like a slightly worse jam session of better combo extension. Right, but I mean, Shigendo is doing all the right things. It's just, as Sarah puts you in a mental mix up because you've never seen their team before. It's true. It's like that every week. Oh my god. Slow fall, and it makes you slow fall. It looks for about a second or two. Yeah. Sarah closed that gap very fast. Oh, we're trying Cross to do a uh, field the corner. Cross on her, yeah. You know, it'd be really smart. funny if like uh, Rashid and X do all the work, and we don't see a lick of King's Thor except for assist. Oh my God, is that like a, the quickest box jump I've ever seen? No, well, I think that's the the unique dash you get off of the tornado. Uh, because Rashid has the the cancel mechanic from his B skill. Uh, is this a serious stage? I don't think so. Sort of a kit bash stage. 
Okay, I just brings in the character. Never mind, they bring out the character. Wow. I guess that's safe. Or really close to, you know, maybe like one or two frames negative. Smart. Nope, oh, trades. You're just, you're just playing a zoning team, so you want to have get off me tools and use them when they're most relevant. And when X is dive kicking you, it's very relevant. Oh, Shogun getting a baby? Congrats, man. Right, one last character. Nice man, make it. They've got the health. I like how he just has his boots. Is it like, is that like the old, 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 old Iceman like uh, costume? I can't recall the reference. Okay, this doesn't do that much damage. Oh, I think there's being smart here. We're talking about like 1940, like X Men or something, right? <laughs> That was smart on Sarah's part. They got them to an altitude where they could have extended with X if they needed one more uh, or a point push of damage after the bar was out. Charlie, I like me some Charlie. That was a pretty cool cat. He also maintains a feature for Marvel 2 where uh, his Sonic—I forgot the name of it's supposed to be—but he throws a bunch of Sonic booms in a giant wave pattern, and it's very easy to combo off of. I can't. Someone has to make a yellow variation of that costume. Like, I, I'll. I Don't said it. To move. Get the extension. Oh, yeah, I gotta claim my Matrina code. Please do. Yeah, this is smart. Once again, get off me. Oh. Oh, my. This era is showing off some stuff I've not seen before of the feed. That many instant overheads. I do not feel for Shogundo here. <laughs> Maybe I should not suggest Isisera to play a character. Because look, look what I have brought upon. She was clearly researching this reshed, but I think we're gonna. I think they're picking up the matchup. Just. It's a lot to learn on the fly. Good patience on that first set of blocks. Yeah, I mean, Rashid could have been like the character that she was gonna bring out anyways, and maybe replace Thor with, I don't know, Captain Marvel. But Jeez, it's, that is just he, so seems, covered. he seems more devilish with that damn exorcist. Every character is, it's like baby drones, except you have a very short Baby body. drones at a better angle and much faster. And you're tiny. The chicken box. God damn! That is, that is rough. And Elsa's gonna be rough. Me losing to Xbox up next, so I will be hopping off. Uh, I there takes three over Shogundo, but I expect we'll see great things from Shogundo still in this bracket. They've got more than enough with another chance. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm learning with the... Ooh, but let's see... We got old names, there we go. Golden Nut running heavy rush down. I'd get in and that standing heavy. Uh, for those who don't know, the charging star for um, US Agent, he doesn't have all three variations like uh, the Captain America does, but it's his standing heavy so he could cancel out of it into other things. It's still incredibly powerful but a little bit harder for closing the distance on uh, characters that have strong zoning tools. Ooh, and King Thor gets hit here. Uh, even though he looks like Thor, it is worth being aware. This character only has 1 million health. He will die. It's not uh, a situation. Ooh, and got the combo messed up by the grenade. That's so rough for Golden Nut, but the Venom confirms good for Ed to die. US Agent's gonna go down here. And now, Ed Sedai, with tons of meter, has access to X Factor, and uh, is that even characters? This is looking very good for Ed Sedai. Uh, very smart play. 
Venom's taken a few damage hits in many patches, but he still has great confirmation tools. Having the presence of mind to use them when you see opportunities is major to play this character well. Ooh, and that Venom Barrel showing that he could put hitboxes on a very high quantity of the screen and confirm off of them. And with that, is going to go for the Venom Web. And patches are... Oh, that's so unfortunate for Golden Nut and so fortunate for Ezidai. Has swords available. This is going to be the end of Wolverine War. It's a cool transition combo. Ooh, gets the cross up with Rapid Splash. And, ooh, that's not the, the way it's going to combo properly. Tim, if, if something drops, do you just Rapid Slash again? One might say it's a viable strategy, but Virgil seems to make everything viable. <laughs> he does have many viable tools, but it is a situation where uh, the mix-up of will I do the Rapid Slash again or will I do Homebreaker again can be so intimidating because if it's the 16th Helmbreaker or something, and you're doing it in like a safe poking way that's not putting you at any risk. When they get hit by it, it makes people feel so much more challenged in how they interact. <laughs> Is that like a force tech throw check like command throw mix up attempt? Ooh, I think so, but I think that in this game you could always hold up if you tech into the, the throw on the ground. Ooh, got the hit. US Agent taking some damage, but gets another chance to play. Golden Nut showing that they love US Agent, choosing to invest X Factor to make sure this character gets to live. Ooh, it actually caught and then got the wrong thing as the DHC instead of the install. That was so unfortunate for Golden Nut. Oh, got the hit on Virgil. Got another hit on Virgil and got him to waste his bar. That is excellent. Third hit, but he's not dying. When you hit this character, he needs to vanish out of existence. And uh, Edsedai trying to show exactly why that is getting a kill on uh, Laura. Still has around a third of X Factor 2 left. But may not have Virgil, Golden Nut with his hit. Has access to one meter. Oh no, that that was not the hypercharging star. Ooh, this is unfortunate for Golden Nut. That I has Virgil on point. Uh, not that much life, so it's possible for Jill to shoot at him a bit and then things to go wrong, but Ooh, got the hit, and now it's a freak even match in between Golden Nut Star's Jill and Edsedai's Venom. Ended up getting an accidental bird. That's so unfortunate for Golden Nut. Uh, could have confirmed off of it there, though. That it's an incredibly high hit stun tool, they'll fall right to the ground. Nice but challenge. this hit can be real. Okay, and with the super, Venom's going to be put into a critical zone where if he gets hit by gun in the super, it's. Oh! If he gets hit by gun into super, he's going to die, but he gets a hit of his own, has level 3 available. Uh, what's that to die going to set up with it? Didn't get the super and gets the reset immediately instead. Sometimes you don't need the super. Just go go into the uh, setup right into level 3. All is good. Two up on the board for it. Nice work, Dead Zedai. Let's see what adjustments Golden Nut makes. Golden Nut makes the adjustment of getting right back in there, plays some aggressive characters, wants to not give their opponent any additional time to think about it. Uh, Ed Zedai getting some hits in with King Thor, uh, not getting confirmed off of it, but the Venom and Virgil has really been doing the job. Oh, and that uh, roll into overhead for... Uh, U.S. Agent it has some invulnerability on it, it's hitbox's giant sphere, uh, highly recommended for that move, it has lots of great properties. But Edsa Diet misses the confirm off of the crumple there, getting a uh, hit that didn't come out in the way they desired. This is looking tough. Wizard Tim, do you think that Wolverine Lawyer will be able to put in any work this game? <laughs> Trap? Oh, she got to get the dive kick? This is the start of that work. You go, girl. You could kill off this Venom. Invest the X Factor. That is not the way to do it, though. It takes him down to a decently low life, but doesn't have a confirm off of it. Ends up going into Berserker Charge and pulls out with the guns. Is punished before the grenades can catch Venom. Uh, when you're above her, sometimes the grenades will hit you on the way up, which is pretty scary. 
but it looks like Venom here is going to go down, and now Berserker oh, Charge is activated. This character is so fast, but Virgil is able to avoid the slash. Is the Rapid Slash coming? It is, but this time she slashes him out of it. Not the only slash available when this woman has claws, but Virgil gets the hit, and this is looking like it will be the end of Wolverine Laura. Two high times? No! Uh, went for single high time into jump medium. Uh, didn't quite get the time and spacing for it. Uh, how do you feel about challenge. Rising Sun in neutral? <laughs> it's a thing. I, uh, yeah, I, Rising Sun is actually secretly better than you would think a DP would be for neutral. Because if you hit with the second kick and get it locked, uh, I think it's plus in Devil Trigger to teleport down. Like, he, he actually is much less unsafe than he appears to be with it. And with that, Edsodai taking it 3-0 over Golden Nut, doing amazing in this first round of the bracket. I'm left of a question. Wasn't there still a, a ground bounce they could have got off the dive kick talent attack? God, diver alert! God, di tobacco. I also did not know that part of it. Oh my gosh, best Xbox One versus Nick Bad. This is going to be a great fight. And it looks like uh, we have Nick Bad running the dead pool, Sakura, and then Strider in the back. So uh, mostly main game team with that Sakura in the middle. And then best Xbox with the Cyclops, Magneto, Dante. This is a pretty fascinating team. We don't see a ton of Magnetos in the middle. Uh, we see a lot more people either play him on point, or if you're one of the like Jason Kiddo types, maybe uh, have him on anchor occasionally. Mundane running him on anchor consistently. I do think, um, at least in the last few years, that support Magneto has become a little bit more tried and true than it once was. But you are right. Though, uh, Disruptor is still one of the best assists, always will be. The fastest horizontal thing you could have is always good. But, uh, ooh, this is going to be the end of not one, but two characters with X-Factors available. Let's see what, uh, best Xbox does to confirm. Oh, and because it hit the main character, it's easier to confirm on the assist. Good stuff for best Xbox. But Nickbad still has X-Factor, and he comes out, gets caught with some Thunderbolts. Still has sunburn uh, those... trigger here. So. Ooh, gets the catch, but doesn't get the full confirm afterwards. Manages to get under hammer. It doesn't have a good enough hitbox to catch her there. But the Tatsu doesn't work. Beam does. Sakura alive. Gets hit by Magneto. And best Xbox One. Is this gonna kill? No, it does not close. kill. And this is a pretty scary situation for both of them. Nick Bad can maneuver to getting there. <laughs> and... Ooh, gets Whoa. in there with the Raging Demon to punish the Shockwave! Brilliant work by Nick Bad. I thought we'd see that. You need to be ready when, when you see someone going for that Shockwave or Gravity Squeeze or something. Uh, looks like if you spend too much time in UV radiation, you learn how to make someone die 1,000 deaths. Did you know that was a trim? Ah, but Sun, truly a disastrous threat. Yes, indeed. But let's see, Deadpool this time, managing to get some momentum here on Cyclops, going to be able to get the kill, maybe even meter this year. And Fruity Fetus has gifted a sub to Unbreakable Samurai 76. Thank you, Fetus, for supporting the community, and welcome, Unbreakable Samurai 76. How do you feel about Magneto Dante versus Deadpool Strider? I feel like you could approach it in a decent amount of ways, but being good at having like consistent flight movement really makes it easier, and also being solid at your anti-Strider confirms in the air. Well, I think uh, Nick's TNS practice is really paying off here. He blocked that like a pro. And with that, Magneto's going down, and Dante against his full team likely to struggle. This is looking pretty scary. Especially like guns, Vajra. Ooh, got the hit there on Deadpool. And another one. This is going to be enough to kill. I don't think uh, Best Xbox even needs to use X-Factor here if they set up the combo right. But Deadpool still is Sky Dances the Strider. Uh, uses the guns just to protect Strider and activates X-Factor to stay safe himself. 
and Strider returns the favor, saw that Deadpool saved his life and immediately came in to help him get the potential kill. But why do you think Nick Bad went for uh, TAC today? Good question anyway. Thank you, Phoenix, for giving a sub. Just cannon shout. Oh man, Sakura, that... get in here. Getting in and manages to get in after that jump S. Uh, best Xbox here, not on the evasion tech of being able to cancel all the things. And Sakura gets to loop that super, but oh no, she needs to let the a launching hit of Sho can come out first to make it work. And Shattercoin, another great supporter of the community, gifting the sub to TA Wolf. One of the commentators that all of y'all know make Marvel what it is. So shout outs to both Chattercoin and Diego. Ooh, and Very went risky. for the Vajra. This Devil Trigger's available. Oh, I don't know what the ideal punish there is actually, but this is gonna do a decent amount of damage. Won't be building meter and because of that can't kill Strider, but has the mix available and Excalibur downward, too strong. Nick Bad going up 2-0 against best Xbox. Took a lot of risks there, but he managed to pull it out. Ooh, pretty scary. Oh, best Xbox one, feeling that Nova's the answer here. I like this team. Nova and Venom? Do you think this is going to be the Frank Anchor one? Or... Oh, the Doom Anchor variant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remora is right that uh, it is possible if you're trying to like link as soon as possible after the uh, side dance has its landing animation, it could be a little bit squishy to uh, try and get that properly. Ooh. But looks like this is going to be an overhead with the H and Sakura is taking some damage. Best Xbox One going to spend the TAC because there was no uh, meter investment. Went straight into Super. How do y'all feel about that? Ooh, like didn't back, end up oh, being smart. <laughs> Ooh, the upper gun for real. Managed to get out of that potential zip punish. I like going for it with best Xbox, and I like being able to avoid it even better with Nick Bad, but I think that's the final teleport available to him. If he goes for another, he's gonna pop, right? Maybe hard on Venom to get a good OTG opportunity. Ooh. Yes, the <laughs> dash in all the way across the speed with Dova and Shadow Coin G uh, gifted it another scrub, uh, sub to throw the Zen. It is very kind of both Shadow Coin and Fruity Feet is contributing to the community in these ways and is appreciated. And looks like Nova has been doing damage, but Nick Bad ensures it won't be any more. Get some red life back for Strider and kills off Nova in the process. This is great for Nick Bad. Gets the install with Sakura, so there's some uh, X Factor time veil. Uses it to get both into install and get the teleport set up. Ooh. Going for the Venom Rushes. Ooh, nice defensive teleport. Went for the 6H into S, but uh, it looks like best Xbox now out of X Factor, and Nick Faz has done. Oh no! Went for the teleport and got OTG'd by missiles. And very nice confirm from best Xbox One to make that oh. into something real. Oh, and hit Strider out of there. Very nice stuff with the use of normal. Oh, you get those folks in. But Venom only has a pixel. Decides to tag into Doom and after the foot dive gets the mix up. The crouch light on the side is going to kill off this Sakura. And now Strider's going to lose a decent amount of red life and has no X Factor available. And also doesn't have access to any orbs, which can be pretty scary uh, with only 13 seconds left. Ooh. Uh, I would just spam photons here. Yes, it's exactly like this. Because if you do that, then Strider cannot kill you fast enough now because he doesn't get to interact. And with that, uh, that's Xbox One putting a game on the board. Do you feel this team is going to be enough to make the difference for the set, or is it too little too late? Okay. 
I think it's working out well. The missiles are making it a lot harder for this Deadpool team to maintain the momentum, which has been a huge part of Nick Bad pulling most of these victories. Oh, but speaking of momentum, he has two characters here. He's going to be able to kill off Venom, get the install with Sakura, and go straight into Legion. He's going to get the kill. Uh, Wizard Tim, did Legion not suck today? What's going on? Eh, it's a holiday. <laughs> it's a holiday. Uh, Legion, uh, apparently empowered by the Black Panthers and other, other elements of the Justice community. Oh, oh no. Strider is about to vaporize in one one moment though. Oh, and got the hit on a Deadpool there. Mm, this is looking very possible for either player, but Best Xbox One has a time limit on it, and that time limit still has a good half of X Factor to kill Soccer away. Throw. Good throw by Nick Bad getting around the photons and the missiles and decides to close it out with the level three. Oh, he still has a pixel left! Oh, but she gets the follow-up, so that's fine. Ooh, and with that, patience. Nick Bad closing out the set 3-1. to one. Great stuff to Nick Bad. Great stuff to Best Xbox as well, but Nick Bad is playing 2 on point this evening. Ooh, up next, are we going to have Tudamax and Koji? Uh, Zeno. Who I believe is a, a student. I think uh, Zeno's uh, Deadpool May Cry will be able to do it. Or do you think that this is going to force two to max off of his orange Hulk and back to the green? I think there's a good chance, this not included, of forcing orange Hulk off. Is that Deadpool does really well against unarmored characters. Hmm. Ooh. Virgil gets to live. Ooh, Dante got hit there. But very nice mix. Uh, there hasn't been quite a confirm from Kumax, and let's see if Koji is the first one to get a full combo. Ends up going into jam session. Hits the mix afterwards. That was very fascinating. Interesting reset. Nice throw. Yes, thrown though. I, I don't hear Orange Hulk's theme very often, so I, I wasn't even aware that's what it was. Not enough people play this wonderful character, but he is rushing down Dante super hard right now. Has the DHC available, Human Rocket, and gets out of Dodge. Opposite side of the screen, gets to summon some Sentinel Drones, and gets to catch on Dante. Uh, Nova's buttons, rising, grounded, just wherever he may be, can give Dante some problems at times. Just such a fast character. Link cross up. Oh, and Doji with the X Factor Deadpool mix up, invested a teleport, but. Out of that teleport, looks like they're going to be able to kill Nova. Oh no, gets thrown instead. No killing Nova instead. Nova is going to claim the life of this Deadpool. His regeneration won't be enough to save him from this. And with that, it is going to be the end of Deadpool. Due to Max taking the first game with his Nova. Hmm. Due to Max immediately hopping back in. Uh, Toji Fushiguro thinking uh, a master of many styles can play many characters in base game, many characters in modded. Uh, see if they're going to find it. Oh, uh, do you think Orange Hulk has broken any laws? Oh, definitely. You see how fast he goes? Speeding tickets for sure. Oh, speeding tickets coming for the Orange Hulk because Phoenix Wright is being chosen for the counter pick. You know, feeling that with his lawyerly powers, these dastardly villains are not going to be able to stand up to justice. Gets out the Maya, but oh my gosh, the Gamma Charge plus the Sentinel Drones got rid of Maya Shield so quickly. Uh, that uh, shield is health-based, so depending on how much damage you do to it, it goes away faster. Ooh, that light almost caught. Nice punish. And Hoji is not building any meter for this, but Jam Session will build for him. Oh! Oji channeling his inner evasion. Uh, so, what's a, a movie that's longer than a lightning loop? Because lightning loops may be the like, standard hour and a half there, but this is like uh, War and Peace to, uh, as a movie format instead of a book or something. Have you ever seen the Lord of the Rings Extended Edition? That's pretty good. 
Oh, that I, I'm sure that Toji. Oh, Toji decided to do the extended edition by resetting with hammer that time. Going to kill off Orin Hope by using just a single meter, and now has four meters on deck so that Virgil and Phoenix Wright can drive. Ooh, but Toji has it. He's going to be able to potentially kill this lawyer. Decides to snap him instead. Not even snap awesome. to Virgil, snap to Dante. Would prefer to have Phoenix right in the anchor position where uh, he can't abuse it as much as, say, Virgil. Uh, let's see if that ends up being effective here, because Dante didn't even die. Oh no, Nova may die on top of Dante not dying. Koji may be turning this around right now. Uh, has access to, uh, uses the triple hyper variant to combo after it. That means he'll need to best if he wants to kill, but decides to let uh, Nova not live. It hits with the uh, grapple. I didn't know that grapple would hit human rocket after it started. I guess that it has some strange interface. I uh, Can a Nova player correct me on exactly how that works? Because that... That was not the expected outcome there. And the mix-up from the underside to the max showing that just because the robot's enormous doesn't mean he can't get under a character. Oh, but the lawyer's alive and has the shield up. Oh no, Maya's covering her face as she runs away from the giant ticket robot. How is she going to make this work? The throw works and this is going to be the end of Phoenix Wright. And with that, uh, Sentinel is going to take this game 2 for 2 to max. Uh, gonna change team again, stick with it. Already hit. Ooh. Okay, keeping this Phoenix right here. Uh, I think the uh, Xeno needs to be pretty cautious about how they work with the Maya shield because, as noted, the charge plus uh, access to the drones makes it very hard to uh, keep it up and functional. Ooh, manages to get three good pieces of evidence but gets hit before they could convert into turnabout mode. And now Koji is going to lose their lawyer unless two times decides to snap again. Oh, neither thing. He lives on with a pixel in the back, but having access to three uh, good evidence already makes it so he's a TAC threat. You could actually on DHC here go into the objection. And the bounces are real. Ooh. I thought he would be able to kill there. Oh, but this is gonna kill. Nova isn't ready for the lawyer. He doesn't know how law works on this planet. He's from space. This is not gonna work, but, uh, you know, already up to three meters, which means that ha has access to uh, the turnabout super and gets the hit here. Isn't going to need to use turnabout because of that. Has access to the DHC into it, which is very good. Uh, it makes it so Sentinel does anything that's uh, reactable by Dante. Uh, can actually get rid of him. Oh? But ends up using all of his meter, and now Tutamax has X Factor to mix up Dante and Virgil. There's no meter for Toji, but two meters for Tutamax. Uh, Toji defensively moving with his Dante, trying not to get mixed here, gets hit by the S, and this is going to be the end of Dante. But X Factor 3 and Virgil. I heard this is kind of a good character. Oh. You get crossed up. Yes, uh, so the secret. Kill Virgil before he functions, and you, you'll have a great matchup. And two to match with just that, taking it 3-0 over Toji and Shikura. Pretty crazy matches, all three of them. <laughs> oh man! I feel oh, like the shift to the lawyer was oh, highly recommended. But if you have some bonuses or chip into to that link and support the Hobbies, ooh, looks like a. Yes, for more rocking the Mag Dante Doom, uh, getting his inner Milky, but getting caught by Psyblade, and uh, Dobby making sure not to uh, super there, because super in that situation often will hit the assist, and the point character won't even get touched by it. But Magneto dead instantly, and Dante down to half life. This is looking very good for Dobbalicious, but uh, Remora's Doom, one of his best characters. A lot of people on his main team are afraid of his Zero and his Virgil. But his doom will wreck so many people as well, and uh, it's just a great thing. But Dante getting to do some work. I think he still needs to use meter to kill Leon here. What's it go? He can escape. Oh, this is going to be a decent amount of damage. Level three is available. 
Skyblade is also available though. Remora not choosing to kill this character. When you don't kill Dobblicious with Gambit, they will invest what's needed to make you change your opinion next time. Now it's all up to Anchor Doom, but Remora has one of the be best Anchor Dooms in the business. And Dobby snipes with the cards perfectly. Go straight into level 3, and with that, Dobblicious taking the first game against the Evo champ from the la uh, two years ago, Remora, who uh, I still feel like it's last year, oh my gosh, 2024 already. But uh, that was great work by Dobblicious, but Remora, confident in his uh, ability to do well with these characters, gets in there with Magneto, and avoids the side blade while Dante gets caught. It's really important. Okay, easy extension, not the most healthy character, Leon. Ooh. And gets Gambit back into the corner. Uh, would you use X Factor in 3? No. Goes for the reset and gets the uh, falling down S in order to be able to kill off this Gambit for only one meter, most likely. Yep, magnetic. Oh, the drop gets the Cajun escape to get out of the corner and almost gets to the ground to roll, but not quite. Psylocke has her work cut out for her. Thank you, Fetus, for helping out the homie Nick Bad. What a yes, great indeed. Person. And also, thanks to Nick Bad for getting moved. To oh, Remora with the back and forth air dashes in order to kill off the Psylocke. But uh, Nick Bad also. Uh, was able to get a custom color of Sakura implemented in this game, uh, investing in the modding community, uh, the great work of Moo Cartoon. So, Feed is supporting Nick, Nick supporting Moo, people in this community just supporting each other pretty great. Nice pickup. Ooh, getting some hits. And there, Dobbleish just makes great use of the range on the on stand S. Just taking that hit. <laughs> As our uh, Dan says, that C Viper S is so good, and Dogalish is just like taking advantage of it in relation to that side of it. Ooh, This is a high scaling starter, TAC. Ooh, that shotgun, it carries so much range and covers such an important space. Decides not to invest any meter there, and oh my gosh, this will catch both. X Remora? Yeah, Remora knows to invest that X Factor and goes into the super here to make sure that the assist dying doesn't accidentally miss uh, his combo timing on Leon. Do you think that's factor free Gambit can do this? Oh, not if he gets hit. Oh, maybe if he does get hit. Not if he gets hit by Romora is a surgeon in their kill style. Should be very careful about using X Factor reverse dash. Ooh, and Romora taking another game. Uh, trying to show that they've adapted to Dobbleicious' play style, and Dobbleicious uh, making an adjustment. Let's see, which characters do you think they're going to come out with? Do you think we'll see some Monster Hunter, or how do you feel uh, they're going to approach this Magneto? Changing the point, Psylocke to the middle, and then... Evil Ryu probably for that one? Or... Oh, oh, regular Strider. Strider. Oh. All kinds of options. Strider 2099, different Strider desired. Formation might actually be better at tagging uh, Magneto than even Bajra. Catching him out of movement at that like normal jump or ground height, very effective. Remora doing a good job of getting out that combination of Disruptor, Mag Blast, and using the Doctor Doom Plasma Beam Assist to make sure that the ground plane is thoroughly controlled. But Dobbleish is going for another TAC, not going to kill Magneto here. Uh, but oh my gosh, this is looking scary. So let's see if Dobbleicious uh, decides to keep the Strider 2099 in for a decent amount of time here. Ooh, and this is going to hurt, but Strider 2099 does have a little bit more life than base game Strider. Uh, going to invest level 3 in it, get rid of this character. Always agree with killing characters. Oh, and Gambit's gonna come in, eat this mix. Went for the swing, but jam session too strong. Uh, ooh, the upward TAC. Oh, it looks like uh, Remora may need to practice this as much as Zeno did because Zeno had those, and now Remora is going to lose not only his Magneto, but also potentially his Dante. Oh no, not gonna quite lose him, just get hit oh, really well. hard. <laughs> well, I'm a beat my mate. 
Uh, feed us with a specific number of cheers. Uh, appreciates the happiness within the community. I, I think people say it is nice. Uh, so this is going to be the end of Gambit with this nice uh, confirmed by Remora. And Psylocke coming in. Plenty of meter and X Factor available. Uh, can teleport to deal with some of these mix. Oh no, she S in it with and now uh, ooh, gets another chance. Shout out to S with Ooh, got the hit. So many hits here on both Dante and Doom. Activation Jitsu. This is pretty scary. Uh, he can chip out this character. Ooh. X Factor's running out now. Needs to kill off this Dante fast. Ooh, but it's a perfect confirm by Remora. I actually don't know if that would have killed there because million dollars is damage, but uh, Photon Raid is not. Uh, so Remora finishing it up against Dante. Yeah. Sonic Bracket's always great. But speaking of Sonic Bracket, Isis Zero is playing a very fast team versus Dan, a character with very strong combo, very great mix up, meter build, pretty slow. Down to that. There he goes. But nice adjustment on Ed's part. Managed to catch the airborne and still keep it in the combo. That's playing Dan because he wants to do the reverse Matatsu. I still can't believe I got that on fucking my game. That was... I can't believe I like, you all... It's like, I wonder if this worked. And between that and you getting the number 69 for the uh, Morgan Infinite last week... <laughs> It sets it up King Thor time. Yeah. I think this is the first time we're actually going to see King Thor do something. Do a vertical laser beam as opposed to horizontal laser beams. <laughs> That's so funky. It's like uh, uh, scroll meteor dive, but better. <laughs> Same situation. If Ed can get a hit, Dan can do a lot of work, but moving through this kind of projectile hell is where Dan always falls short. Yeah, from the little bit I played of Dan's, or Etzadiah's uh, Dan, he can do a shockingly a large amount of damage. He has uh, rapid cancels through his taunt cancel system, so as so long as you still have hit stun available, you can combo extensively everything. That's what I need just to learn how to use meter. Yes, this is true. It's like, yes, you can do cool stuff, but if the character lives, it's not that cool. Dan also has arguably one of the best DHC options of that very slow but powerful fireball that just covers every other character you DHC into it. Uh, I don't think it is crap. I think it's the same as Ryu. The fact is is just damage incarnate. Dan does have a level 3. It's uh, his version of Raging Demon. Oh, he's so oh, oh, wow. Okay. I mean, Dan's never been a low health character in Street Fighter, has he? He's never been a high one, but you're okay. Yeah, but he's never been like a low, low one, you know? Oh yeah, this thing just covers the whole entire screen. Joy. <laughs> oh, that was a weird route. Okay, off to King Thor. Let's see what Ed's routing can be here. Nice use of the cross up, but couldn't keep the combo going, and that's where you're going to regret. Wow. Good patience. Oh. I think it might be just a little latency on Ed's part to screwing up their timings. I mean, he's still doing really good against uh, Isera. Help, taking a match. Incredible showing. So far. Seeing if Dan gets his chance here. And you can also cancel those Air Dan to your taunt to just make you drop to the ground. So there's some degree of sort of air maneuverability of this character. I wouldn't call it refined. This 
Because there's got the extension here and two bars. Almost three. Yeah, I was gonna say, is Dan alive? I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> He's never alive. This does like more damage than base four. Yes, the the challenge of King Thor is they'll go to the top of the screen like that, and if you have a terrible ability to confirm airborne targets, thankfully Venom has this. Yep, and that's why I'm using Thor. Vadra. I would use uh, uh, Captain Sword, but I don't have access to that right now. Well, no one does, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, extension, extension. You're gonna have to kill with Bar here, and there's no way out of this. It's still Thor, even if it's less HP than base Thor. Has access to X, so you could have just like gone for a knockdown and then uh, time. That crossed up! Yes. Their instant overheads and cross ups are Rashid's game. Broken. Send him to the nerf mill. Been nerfed like six times. Yeah, doesn't one need more anymore. <laughs> nice pick up. Oh, this is a very awkward confirm. Uh... There you go. Just one clean hit. That was well, that was a clean hit. Chase. There you go. God, Ed's just just kill him. A million bucks here. Okay, <laughs> like I thought he's gonna do like level three or something. I'm like, no, just just do level one. Kill him. So smart. They put Town Trap, knowing guys of Sarah would use X's movement to get away, and then chase the back dash. Yep, paste it and just uh, hit him low before you touch the ground. Use a glancing hit of the zip. Very smart. Oh, Wait what? a minute. All right, keep it simple. No. That was not simple. <laughs> well, it was a simple combo. I just think uh, it just. I think that I think it's like his forward H kind of knocks him forward. You could have just gone into uh, got giant throw fireball and uh, or quarter fireball and then just forgot what the name of like the wave super for Venom is. Yeah, like I think his super Gadu in the corner into like an install character can do Venom a massive. Am yeah, it can do a massive amount of damage. That was cool. It's still the corner of this combo. Isocera cackles when they find stuff like that. 15% for any hit. Okay. It's sitting on three, and you can combo after the Venom level three, so I hope they're not afraid to spend it. You know? yeah, even at level three, I don't think Thor would have died. Maybe X Factor level three. I respect him not using the X Factor because he still has a long road ahead of him. Ah, I don't know if that's gonna kill. Scale. What the hell? Wow. Did you see like Venom. that chunk of like 10% of his health just disappear? I guess Venom has good X Factor damage though. So I that it guess. Does have less HP than base four. That worked. Like <laughs> that was sick. 25 or 130. Yeah, this is reminding me of the Mega Man X3 run I watched earlier today on uh, GDQ. <laughs> I saw amazing things from Dan last set that didn't fulfill themselves. Let's see if Ed can redeem themselves. Yeah, the Venom Fang assist does really good because it looks like his profile is, I mean, obviously really low. But, you know, that didn't help Dan. Was that his Rashid's overhead? I'm confused exactly how that works with the assist. Why does all of his assists make you do like a slow fall? <laughs> Speaking of slow fall. Nice call out. Oh, no. 
Got a drop. Uh, Venom can do forward heavy then down S. Yeah, probably. His forward heavy, as long as he hit a standing deployment, is a crumple. Oh my god! I do that in the air too? Damn! Yep. It's so cool. This version of Thor, I think, in the mod dossier, was supposed to be more electrical than base roster Thor. I mean, he is the god of, you know, thunder, not the god of hammers. Sorry to regurgitate, you know, uh, Ragnarok. Or not, what? that was Ragnarok. That was, uh... Wait, was that Ragnarok? Yeah, I think it was. Speaking of gods here, uh... Virtual means this is an uphill fight, even though Isisera has X-Factor. Ooh! Oh, what a call-out! Take the damage you can get for the X-Factor time. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, still alive. Frame trap. Yeah, the chip probably would have killed too, but hey. That's the I got 2-3 on Isisera. Like, probably our best competitor, you know, score-wise. But, you know, sh good. That was good. Just in time, I see Sarah. We're about to see Legend with his Nick Bad. Oh, sorry for being a little late. I'm running slow since I didn't see last night. But, but oh my gosh, it looks like Living Legend already has this hit on Nick Bad. Go speak to Snack. How do you feel about snacking? Snapping in soccer? How do you feel about snapping in soccer? I believe oh, it she's to be so a short. wise decision. Ooh, looks like it had been a good choice, but the better choice would have been killing her. And now this is going to lead into oh, got teleport instead of the follow up to Katanarama. That looks odd. Uh, could I get our, our local psychic to tell me what likely happened? Was there a parsec drop that made some squiggles and motions, or ooh, pots one incoming and avoids the magnum, manages to get around the incendiary. Oh my gosh, Nick Bad using that movement to get in there. This is going to be painful for Chris. He does have a lot of health available though. So, oh, gets the throw. The throw. Uh, Jason Game Dev, uh, our correspondent for Surge at the moment. I, I did not know that was the Deadpool cast, but it's how it works apparently. Oh my gosh, Strider, Strider lives. Has X Factor 3 available? Let's see. Would you use Ragnarok here or level 3 or? Oh no, uh, looks like uh, Chris is alive. I'm gonna regret oh, that too. Oh my gosh, throwing out these birds, going to get some mix. And Living Legend blocked for a long time, has managed to get rid of almost all of uh, Nick Bad's X Factor, but is going to lose to Chip here soon. Oh, this is gonna. I, I am amazed that the Maximum Wesker got the kill there. Very nice stuff, the Living Legend. Pretty smart call out of the soccer, I think. Nick he has a lot of great synergy and a lot of experience with that character. Mm -hmm. Oh, caught out of the anti air guns, and now Legend has those glasses off, but Nick Bad has the hit. Just pressing and crouch light once there's a, an opportunity in space, and this is going to get Wesker injured substantially. Besides to do an offensive teleport to get in there. Throwing out some pineapple surprises, trying to control the street, and gets air thrown out of Mad Wheel. That, that's how you know it's real, and people are ready enough for Mad Wheel that instead of getting overheaded by the slowness of it, they instead jump in there early. Oh, what Deadpool's still alive there. Install gets command thrown, and the combo drops. <laughs> Nick Bad trying to stay on the opposite side of the screen. But gets crossed up nonetheless. Um, going to go for the THC here, and does advancing guard timing help Deadpool get out of this? It does, and now he's still alive. Not for long, though. X Factor 3 Strider. Uh, Wesker is at Half Life, and this is this is maybe possible, but looks like there won't be a Strider to make it happen. 
Wesker out here hitting with the maximum damage Phantom Dance middle of the stream, may be able to take Strider's life. Oh, only had one more wall bounce left before that was done. Uh, Living Legend closing it out, taking the second game over Nick Bad. Nick Bad jumping right back in for round three. Feels that they are ready to make their adjustments and take this game. Absolutely and incredibly, these two have played so often between this and TNS, and they both always mm -hmm. get each other by surprise. Oh, ended up uh, using the teleport explosion, had already used the bounce, uh, gets the mix there, but manages to avoid dying only for a short period, but that cross in the corner is enough to get Living Legend exactly what they need, and it looks like this is going to be potentially the end of Deadpool. Deadpool Legend. getting smoked! Legend's Wesker making me feel nostalgic here. Oh, but he's about to feel dead. You're gonna have to feel nostalgic for the no longer Wesker. It's all left to Chris Akuma now, but this is a very even fight. Uh, this is a little scary though when Nick Bad has been very at point when he sees those incendiaries come out. He's been dashing, pushing Chris, and then hitting him at a range where it blowing up isn't gonna catch him. Really great work by Nick Bad. Oh, keeps missing with that. Oh. It's the beam for the way down, kills off Chris. Uh, do you think two button tech's coming when he touches the ground? Oh no, gets overheaded. No two button tech when you are dead, my friend. And with that, Beautiful. this is going. The end of Shin or of Akuma, Nick Bad getting on the board with a game. Showing why that first game Living Legend decided to snap into soccer of it as soccer that game. Closing it out, doing the work. As far as, uh, mm -hmm. again, Throwing out some bolos. To shout out, oh, got uh, the mix. Cartoons. Mm -hmm. Awesome work on colors in this situation and in other situations. has done great work on models too. And Fruity Fetus gifting a sub to Jason Game Dev, one of the pinnacles of the community who really helped us get into the parts decade. Thank you so much to both Fruity Fetus for that gift and Jason Game Dev for always contributed as well. Ooh, and this is going to be Sakura taking some damage. Decides to invest all the meter he has available to kill her. And now it's up to X Factor 3 Strider. But this is a character that could make it happen, especially if he happy birthdays. Mm -hmm. Manages to get out of there, gets orbs on immediately. Hits, but doesn't get a confirm off of it. Goes for some mix. And Wesker managing to waste so much time here effectively gets thrown here. But if Strider manages to kill off Chris, Akuma is at a point where his red life is not looking pleasant. Uh, I don't think X-Factor is going to last long enough to make that happen though. So uh, we're going to need, oh no, went for Raw Vajra, maybe a bird bomb uh, input error, but this is the end of Strider because Living Legend kills his characters. Lincoln Tablet. And with the Lincoln Tablet, that's going to be the end of Strider and Living Legend takes it 3-1 over in Nickbad. Thank you, Nick Bad, for letting that, that final attack play out. <laughs> so, let's see what has been going on in bracket. Uh, it looks like in learner side, uh, NA Shadow had to DQ out. Renard went through uh, <laughs> the thing on point for Nick Bad versus uh, a Sura on point. For costume yes, fight. Nick Bad's name is on that costume, Kevin. <laughs> it is indeed. Oh my gosh, Cosmic Light getting some work done with that Phoenix Maya, but then as soon as Nick Bad gets in, gets the happy birthday, and gets thrown, what does Cosmic Light have to confirm? Didn't get the Maya OTG in time, but is able to swing those wacky arms in order to swing with her, and Phoenix right Maya gets the block there. They are safe. Using those arms some more, getting them to combo. Uh, Nick Bad just dashing to get away from any of that nonsense. Yeah, I think we have to explain this because for people who aren't familiar with the characters, let me wear it. But um, Phoenix and Maya works like Carl Clover from Blaze Blue. They're a puppet character. Except you can never hit the puppet in this one. Maya cannot be killed. She she is much stronger than the na Carl's puppet. I do not know the, the name of his puppet, but. She is immune to damage and uh, can shoot her gun even if you are punching right through her. <laughs> or shooting right through her. 
Oh, Thing here left on a pixel, decides to go into the Chaotic Flame, DHC into Sakura. Uh, with the beam, I think that she manages to get away here. Oh, and throws a Hadouken into the Bionic Arm. So many meters invested. Going to get the hit here on both Gambit and Sakura, but doesn't dash in for the follow-up. Oh no, this is looking terrible for Cosmic Light. Uh, Nick Bad, such a proficient Dark Sakura, is going to eliminate the MC1 Donkey. Asura, uh, as a point character, you could flail with him, but not having a beam means that you need to be pretty reliant on uh, high-risk maneuvers, so you need to hard read your opponent really well if you want to come back with solo Asura. Nick really did a perfect option chase on that last little spree there. Cosmic gonna rock it again. Okay, here comes the puppet. Ooh. Oh, you said he's gonna rock it? I see. But uh, as the thing <laughs> continues to fight in this bracket, uh, going to get punched by Maya, who is doing a great job of controlling him. Uh, and Nick Bad da uh, tags in, brings Sakura, because um, Thing, one of his weaknesses is he dashes like Hulk or Dormammu or Doom. He can't just press a button out of the dash. And because of that, it's really hard to get around things like Maya, where if you are if you are locked into dash so hard, it makes things rough. Oh my gosh. And the boulder bash is in there as an assist. Let's see if uh, DMC1 Dante... Oh, ends up double triggering. The buttons here are enormous. What's he going to do? Uh, gets him into the back so that Dante on incoming is going to have double trigger available. Nice throw punish. Who goes for the down DAC? Oh, why did, wasn't there another one? And with that, not only hits Dante, but this is too far. And there's no meter to DHC either. Uh, this is looking like Nick Bad Soccer is in a scary place, but she manages to do work in it. Cosmic Light going for the shot, but Nick Bad ready just in time. Trades out so that Thing is available instead. Has Gambit available for that those uh, full screen projectiles. And Punch his thing back. in the face. Was that an attempt to Ant Petunia that just got beaten out? I, I think that uh, Nick Bad was looking for the armor on the 2H to potentially win out there, but I think the armor had just gone away, uh, or when they went for Super, it made it so the armor went away, so they uh, got caught. Oh my gosh, Asura down. DMC1 Dante, great anchor, but not if he's dead. Nick Bad, please use your X Factor, or if you just have a combo that kills without it, that's great too, but. Oh, uh, like or it. you reset immediately. Okay, two up because of a Sonic Spin Dash. Yes, uh, Thing the Hedgehog, very effective in this matchup, but it looks like Cosmic Light's going to make some change. I feel like their Phoenix right and Maya was working really well against things, but much less well against Sakura. Uh, let's see if they're the character that gets swapped out for Pen in this case. Uh, how do you feel about Pen coming in here? I've never seen Cosmic Light play that much Ken. Ken's a pretty damn good character in the right hands, but I don't have enough data here. <laughs> I think Moo would ever turn Thing into Knuckles the Echidna. I I think that you should talk to Mu about what they are financed to do because I, I know that they have many projects, but uh, they can sometimes prioritize things. So uh, if you are interested in such a thing, I recommend talking directly to Mu. <laughs> oh, ended up getting the punish on the dry tag, but didn't get the cross uh, the turnaround in time with the special uh, cosmic light going for all of the helm breakers. Uh, may be uh, aware that Ed Sedai was doing some Helm Breakers with Virgil, trying to get the same here with the DMC1 Dante. Oh, Bullet's gonna catch here. Catch both of them. No, the D8 or the second super was not timed in order to deal with that. But now, uh, gets the tag in again. We're seeing a lot of tags from Cosmic Light. Ooh. They're both tattooing, but uh, hers recovers much faster. And this time, Ken is going to get hurt. Oh my gosh. You, I think he's going to die, actually. Because she has the loops here. Oh no, drop it! Next opportunity to just tag us or back it. Ambitious attempt to slide there. 
Ooh, that was an interesting maneuver by Cosmic Light. When they got to the ground, they went into uh, his... Uh, that move where he spins around is actually a reversal, and you can get blown up by that thing, so if you swing into it, you will die. Uh, interesting uh, mix by Cosmic Light, and the punch here is just gonna kill Sakura. Uh, knee drop versus... Uh, the a much larger drop with the sword. Oh my gosh, this is the end of DMC1 Dante. Pixel thing, but Gambit is at full here. Oh, and the punch rush is going to kill off Ken. Looks like this is the end of Cosmic Light Shoryu. And oh no, he's still alive. Oh, you do not mm, want to tag him the for the thing. Tag. Do not tag here. Oh no, but gets the throw, and that's going to kill. Do you think this is coming next up will be enough? Ends up punching. Ends up punching more, and uh, Nick Bad gets the punish but doesn't get it into a combo. This time it confirms though. Uh, Nick Bad, you don't need to interact with this character. You could throw cards at them from full screen and uh, be be much safer. But Nick Bad wants to play with the, the more passion in their heart moving forward. And then, ooh, this is a way that Cosmic Light is going to die. The fact of the matter is, Nick loves big limbs and he can't lie. Big limbs are pretty good. I, I'm also a fan of the big limbs. If you have a uh, long-reaching foot or a far-swinging stick, uh, something good's gonna happen in this game. And with that, Nick Bad made something good happen three times, taking out Cosmic Light from this tournament. Then points. This is a reminder to everyone: slots are rigged, including Kevin's. Uh, th this is known to everyone. Do not play slot machines unless you want to lose money. <laughs> How many combos does Renard know with this character? I wonder. I don't know, but uh, looks like in this situation, enough to Nick go for the mix afterwards. I think that he has good uh, combos up until the point where he needs to invest meter, but that investing or confirming into investing meter with Dan is still something that's in progress. Mm. Oh, hit Nurse. with the last part of the rapid punches. Oh, and managed to get the hit with that god okay, and it looks like Renard's Dan. Uh, we had thought that Ed Sedai may be the one showing off Dan today, but it looks like Renard managed to take out one and three quarters characters. Uh, two characters make that with just the power of his Dan. That one's Virgil. <laughs> yeah, Virgil a, a little bit more of a problem here, uh, but Dan gets to live. Not for very long though. X is back up to a little over half life, but uh, round trip, incredibly hard to deal with. Rapid slash, incredibly tall. Uh, looks like X here, his tiny body isn't going to save him this time. And with that, X is going to go down and it's going to be Stars Ill Anchor. Oh no! Pixel X? No Pixel X. I'd like the X Factor to get rid of him. What do you think, Mr. Tim? It's pretty good. And having oh no! Uh, but uh, if you don't have your X-Factor available, Renard is going to make sure that those defensive X-Factor timings will lead to you being dead. And with that, Renard showing that if you leave him a gap, that, that X-Factor 3 Dill is going to evaporate the team. Oh yeah, how much are you praying for the new Hunter Hunter game to not be a silly arena fighter? I I would appreciate if we got a game with in-depth and interesting mechanics, but uh, I I do not know what's going to happen, and I just hope that whatever they make, it ends up making a lot of people happy, and if it looks fun, I'll try it. I don't think we have any actual information yet, Fetus. Wait, co-op Shogundo? If there was... Hey, Shogundo saying that you, you get to play with the squad, is this true? Uh, can people confirm? Okay. Name in a brief video clip. Nick Bad with the data. Oh, looks like uh, Ed Sedai choosing to play Spider Gwen. Excellent character, but Renard definitely has a lot of experience both playing as her and fighting her. And uh, this is going to be potentially scary, but. I do have to say, Ed Sedai's color synergy with this team is extra satisfying. Ooh, but incendiary grenade as an assist is meaning that even though Dan is winning neutral much, no, oh, he's gonna win it that time though. Spider Gwen's still gonna be the first one to fall against this master of the Psycho side. Ooh, gets another chance, and she's going to potentially kill him. Hits him from the opposite side, but doesn't kill him off, leaves him out of pixel. 
Will he get out safely? Oh, almost. Spider Gwen left it a pixel. Is he gonna get a chance to tag? Oh no. I wonder if that was actually an uh, anti air command throw. It, it wouldn't have worked, but it would have been a, a solid mix and it makes a little bit more sense to standing and web balling. Ooh, getting that Venom Rush. You wanna hit Jill if you get the opportunity. Ooh, got the hit on X. Yeah, you, you don't want to let X play any more than you have to. He's just such a threatening character. Oh, Incendiary ended just in time for it to work out for Ed to die. Uh, let's see what resources he uses to kill X here. Ends up just using one bar. I think that this will be enough. Yeah, it'll be enough. But uh, Star's Jill, uh, she's threatening you when you're incoming. Oh, gets the throw. And this should be enough, please, X Factor. Goes for the dry tag. And let's see if this is the version of the confirm that's needed. It is, and Edsedai ties it up one to one. Bernard, consider yes, X is a very cheap character. Uh, looks like Edsedai going immediately back in, and Renard thinking about it, but staying with the Dan. Uh, Edsedai, a fan of playing Dan, if it looks like things will be okay, but it looks like a. In the context of fighting Renard here, in, in the learner side bracket, wants to go to something a bit more potentially stable. Oh, gets the hit, but doesn't have the confirm. Ends up frame trapping instead, because Spider's swing is awesome. Uh, oh no, didn't get the throw there. Mm, looks like uh, Renard may be having some uh, challenges with the latency, because those confirms, I, I've seen him hit those a decent amount. And, uh, interesting to see the drop there, and she glides right over the incendiary. X going to need to fight this team now. Ooh, manages to get out of the initial mix, but now takes some damage. Ooh, uh, X was able to get out again. I think that was his tiny body. How do you feel about how incredibly small X is? Uh, maybe he needs like some bunny ears or something. A headdress, perhaps. Yeah. I X just needs a, a bit more height to him. If he was just like the proportions of a human, well, actually, his, he would probably be ridiculous for different reasons, but uh, he's, he is definitely a character that benefits from being tiny at times. Venom dies here, but Virgil is still alive, has X Factor, and has access to meter. Besides to just a Dimension Slash on incoming. I don't think this kills. Oh no, don't let Sars Jill play here. Don't let X and Stars do play here. Oh gosh, question. this is scary. Has Renard mastered the other version of X yet, or is he sticking on Buster? To my knowledge, he's explored a little bit of Saber mode, but is 90% of Buster. Oh, and this is going to be the end of Stars Hill, and Renard down his last life of this tournament. Will he be able to turn it around against Edsedai? Will he stay with the Dan? Oh, looks like the Dan is not the choice. X going on point? He never complained about that. Yeah, X is ridiculous even when he has no assist. No, 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 Fetus, uh, it's, he's getting abandoned later and later each time. Edsedai did it on the, his first game he lost. Renard needed to lose two. It's only going to need to be one more person who plays that will just go through, even if they they need to take him through all three games. Well, so I think Dan just really oh, this needs seems scary. The, the grapevine of combo experts to slowly unlock as many complicated layers. <laughs> For more recommending the team of Triple Dan, hey. Uh, Mora, you could rock that team if you would like. It does have some cool things you could do, and my gosh, Dante and Dante is your assist combo is pretty good because you have a, a horizontal assist and you have jam session. It's a pretty nice life. Oh, got the hit on X here, but doesn't manage to confirm it. Uh, this pressure has been very scary for Renard, even though uh, Edsedai has rarely been killing with uh, Spider Gwen. Uh, he has been getting hits very consistently. Okay, one pop from Deltless. Oh, and does Magneto get to play? Magneto gets to get in, but then gets hit immediately by the belligerent spider swing. 
Uh, she can kill here if she just sets it up right with Venom. Is this going to be enough? Yeah, Venom's DHC does a ton of damage. And with that, Magneto goes down. It is all up to Star's Jill. Can she make this comeback to keep Renard in the bracket? Oh, uh, scores are switched, by the way, Kevin. Uh, this is much scarier for Renard than the, the scores would imply, especially since he's in hit stun now. Star's Jill didn't... Oh, she gets another chance to live. X-Factor's available. Uh, let's see if she manages to catch Venom in a safe way, either with her gun or with a button. Gets the shot, goes into super off of it, X-Factor gets to the ground and almost gets the confirm off of it. Oh my gosh, his Venom Fang beat her dive kick? That is very amazing, because that thing has a hitbox on it. That hitbox is back. Oh, gets all the way across the screen. This is going to be the end of Venom, but now Renard... Oh no, not the end. Uh, it is the end of Venom. But Renard yeah. is going to have to be pretty on point for dealing with these characters. Mmm, got the hit, but not the confirm, and just hit again! Sometimes all you need to do is keep swinging at him, and this swing was effective. This is going to be the end of Spider-Gwen, and uh, uses the level 2 to finish, so even though it uses more meter, he has a better incoming on Virgil. Good oh, the no, frame no, no. trap, SH, SH! And with that, Edsodiet uh, uses his Virgil to eliminate Renard from the tournament. Edsodiet moving on in Learner's Eye. Ooh, does this mean up next? So I'm excited to see how each of them approaches. Let's see, Magneto holding forward, Orange Hulk is afraid. Ooh, and great use of the plasma beam, but ends up getting caught out of the shockwave. The more already down a meter, and now uh, in a situation where Sentinel is beating pretty bad, all of these projectiles he's been using here have effectively caught him, taken him below half. Uh, enough that two to max is summoning Centurion and Russian neutral over the Sentinel drones. Ooh, got the hit, but Dram Session saved him. Great Dram Session. Oh, Magneto taking some damage here, but not dying until then. And with that, two to max taking the lead. His Sentinel may be bleeding, but he has the opportunity to potentially kill off this Dante and the Zoom. Uh, there's no meter available for two to max. This is punishing. Uh, Remora decides to go into the Stinger to make sure it's easy, consistent punish, not too close when the Meteor explodes. Oh, Stand Light went the wrong way. And now, Tutamax trading with the Hysteric and the Human Rocket, uh, getting some extra key bags in in order to confirm it. Goes for his favorite mix after that, but it did not lead into the kill on Dante. And now because of that, there's a chance that Remora will be able to do this work with his new Dante. Ooh, jam session's jam. pretty scary there. Though so, Tutamax has done a great job in getting his Sentinel all the way back up to full life. Ooh! Oh, caught Doom even though he got to the corner because Beam hit so far behind and above Nova. Oh, this is the end of Doctor Doom, but Remora still has that Dante who's recovering Life and Devil's Trigger and the last fragment of X Factor remaining. Thank you, Petus, for gifting a sub to Zuki Wuki. I'm not Star Wars educated, but some uh, post I saw on Facebook said that Wookiees have lifetime or lifespans that are much longer than humans. So Han Solo's really just uh, Chewbacca's. Uh, um, service dog that makes it so he could communicate with people. Pretty much. My gosh, sending out that acid rain and not going to get the level 3 here. Not building meter, so not going to kill Sentinel, but this is still very possible for either player. Remora just needs one more hit. Sentinel is a relatively low life character. And oh my gosh, EMP Tuggles McMuscle Buns using that Prime to subscribe. If you are an Amazon Prime member and you haven't used it as a subscription somewhere on Twitch, you have a free Twitch subscription available, and you could use it right here on the Avengers. For more, coming back with Dante, and doing some bags of his own in order to, to compensate. So not to cause any scarcity, you know, fears here, but uh, the CEO seems to be implying that those Prime memberships won't be around forever, so use them while you got mm. them. Well, people be prepared. Oh, 
going in there with that Plink Dash from Hulk. This looks like it'll be the end of Magneto. Has the ground bounce, has the wall bounce. Gets Mag into the corner, ends up deciding to use all the meter in order to kill him, but should be able to get a decent mix here against Dante. But Dante hits on both sides of him and manages to catch Sentinel. The reverb shock pulled Sentinel from mid screen into the corner. That was really fortunate for Remora. Thank you, Phoenix, for gifting us up to Group Tree Wiz. That's another wizard that I can always appreciate. Yes, Group Tree Wiz, the creator of Dan in here this evening uh missed the power of the ed Sedai versus renari dan mirror that happened earlier Player two wins. <laughs> okay, doing so, micro walk crawl. so now it looks like two to max going to the hulk with some less orange in him less saturation of any variety going with the joe fix it outfit actually but this will be a different approach. Uh, Remorse is going to need to respect the armor now. Tutamax is not going to have the same mobility he did. It is going to be terrifying. Uh, do you think Tutamax with his uh, main squad is going to be able to take it against Remora's Magneto Dante Lee? I believe in it entirely. Tutamax gets better every week. So once they're on their regular team, I think almost anything is potentially within their grasp. But Remora doing a good job of keeping Magnetic Blast in a useful location, but then manages to somehow not get caught by Tutamax confirming off of drones. And because of that, Hulk is now in a terrible situation. Remora gets to move him to the corner, has him locked down, can kill him for a single meter with the uh, uh, use of the Tempest. And that is looking solid for Remora. Uh, has incoming mix up available on Nova. Jam session cross under is effective, but uh, Nova somehow gets out. Uh, looks like Remora very willing to swing. Uh, got down to the ground, crouch light immediately, caught Tutamax, and now this is going to be the end of Nova. And Tutamax is left with only a Sentinel to try and take care of this entire team. Oh no! Oh, double no? And uses the Hyper Sentinel Force to uh, catch Dante for a decent amount of damage. But now Magneto just running away using the Magnetic Blast. But Tutamax getting into the air. Air 2M, or Air M, very effective at catching air to air. Uh, good against Magneto, good against Sue. Uh, manages to get the X Factor out of there. Human Rocket surprisingly does not change directions, but also does not get punished. A 6H got taken out by Tag. Ooh, got hit there, and Remora now with a substantial advantage getting there and gets caught by Sentinel, but I don't think Sentinel could kill here. This is looking pretty scary. A dude's gonna probably have about a quarter life left, a little less than that. Ooh, and Sentinel didn't have enough meter to hard drive there. And that was able to secure the game for Remora, potentially. I think that just going into triple hyper combo in the corner is going to kill here. Oh, only if the combo finishes, though! And the butter gun has gone bad. Going to go with the THC. Can't get into the air in time to use the hard drive. And gets it this time, though. Catches Doom, kills him off. Will Dante survive the incoming? Gets thrown. This is going to catch with the hard drive. Is this going to be enough with the confirm afterwards? Hit the end. This, this will not be enough, but it will leave Dante in some pain. Ooh. And the anti air rocket punch. Whiffing. Trying to avoid the angles the airplay could hit at. And uh, timing out as much. Ooh, got caught by the Thunderbolt. This is looking like. Potentially the end of two to max and so Chris smart. To finish it off. Remora taking it 3 0. Uh, I'm gonna hop off in order to fight Living Legend. Good luck and have fun, Living Legend. Avenge me! I didn't even have to summon the Nick Bad. He's already ready. Yep, I've been here. I've just been uh, not talking. <laughs> okay, we got one last code left over. The YouTube comments love me, right, Kevin? <laughs> oh, they do? Awesome. I am a hero of the people. Okay, yeah, this is what I was figuring. Uh, the instant overhead access ability and the very, like, 
zippy movement, I think is a very good way to fight uh, Chris pretty much. That was like uncharacteristic of uh, Isara not moving for like three seconds, and I'm like, did she disconnect? <laughs> Apparently, the intermittence is a thing with her hitbox at the moment. Oh, oh my god, the YouTube comments do absolutely love Isara. Hey, thank you, or not thank us, but thank you for donating five to Kevin's uh, uh, stream fund. Our jits down. <laughs> Yeah, this is where I worry the biggest obstacle would come is I don't think Legend has a single character in his team of the maybe Akuma that can knock King Thor out of the sky. Ooh, well, that does it. I mean, that knocks him, but doesn't... For a character with as much HP as King Thor, that's not going to cut it. I like how the, uh, the Thor uh, super came out super delayed. It does that. It's like a weird timer. Or Mara, why don't you play Thanos then, huh? Why don't you just be cool? I feel like we had a lot of Thanos last week and not much this week. And, um, yeah. Doom, I think, has all the tools to deal with X. He's, um, you know, he can get around the buster, and very durable fireballs, Tatsu, and just a beam that can answer things, but Isaiah just has so much experience against Akuma at this point. No escape. Also, proceeds to escape. Nice. I'm st I know X has a lot of fucking moves, but I'm still surprised like every time I see it, it's like, oh, I haven't seen that in a while. Is that something new? <laughs> It's like, I didn't know he had the, uh, what's what's it called when uh, Dante does it? Diamond or something? Crystal, that's it. Yeah, because every single, like, he doesn't have light, medium, heavy versions of moves. He just, every different one is a different projectile. Oh, was he somewhat stubby limbs sort of caught ice there there? Oh, the legend's catching on. So pretty fast. Oh yeah, he is a very good person at adapting to different situations. That's what happens when you only play like you know one shell. Because at that point, you already know what your team does. You already know what you do with your team. You just have to adapt to the other team and see what they're doing. I don't know what the hell Thor was doing there, but he like was charging up something and canceled it. Yeah, I think it's probably that. What the yeah, hell is freaking on, the on that lingers? This character's probably been in need of a patch for what, like two years now. <laughs> but and you said it, Ramora. Them, them, the rules apparently. I feel like Legend's going to figure out this. As much as it's cutting it close on this last set, I feel like he's really picking it up. Outside of the King Thor, I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, I feel like his pattern recognition for where I see is going with Rashid got really good on that last. Oh. Nice frame trap with the grenade. I think that jumping gunshot hit like Thor's cape from the back. <laughs> He's pretty big, bulky model. I was worried that X was going to fall out. Tiny ass character. There we goes. Alright. Now, Wesker does. I, I'm not even going to say Wesker. I'm going to go ahead and say Legend has a pretty good runaway uh, strategy. And let's see if it actually works out. He goes for the challenge. Nice counter teleport there. Sizes are moving, readjusted. Ooh. That beat uh, Wesker's us. Whoa, nice cross slender. Oh, just a little too uh, far for the... Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and call those the X lightning loops. This is interesting. Is, um, X does have great air movement and air projectiles, but Legend is just setting up to draw the line in the sand strategy. 
I think they're playing from behind, but X-Factor, this is working really well. Yeah, one more Magnum, or any chip will do it. Shotgun. Oh! Uh, yeah. He had the grenades coming down, so he was safe. Yep, there it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's what I thought, like, Legend, I think, figured out Rashid by that last set. And now we'll see if he can keep it up. I mean, hell, Legend's probably played against more Rashid players than actual Thor players. You know, King or regular. Let's adjust. Wow. Really starting to read I just like a book here. Oh, oh no. Okay, well, there's a first time for everything, and King Thor comebacks is one of them. Never mind. Nah, it's fucked too soon. <laughs> Commenter's cursed. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. Just, I think you've activated Legends Download. Now, this is a very different match. See how well I deserve to download. Not a very high power player. I mean, the good news is whoever loses in this, uh, you know, match is still in. So we will see them again in some way, shape, or form. Oh, that could have been really bad. Wow, Legend has stuffed the assist on every teleport normal. <laughs> to get like a counter or something. Oh, there you go, counter broken. Now what I would say is use every possible, you know, ability to kill this character. I think they're definitely going to do this. They hit the height right so they can do this. Look how much damage that does. So now we go from the hyperactive all over the place Wesker to the more stationary that was uh, so Chris. Smart. Oh, very excellent uh, spacing right there. That's the word. I was going to say timing, but I'm like, that's not the right word. See, these are the cooler lightning loops. The more expensive ones. Post-inflation lightning loops. That 8% lightning loop. <laughs> oh, got the assist, too. Oh uh, no. Okay, well, Thor, I guess, went back to Asgard. Or maybe it took, uh, Legend took too long to, uh. Oh, that's gonna hit. Uh. Okay. That was close to a pickup. Rashid is going nuts. Alright, keep it simple. And Isis here takes that in a very close set between the two. I see it moves on, but we will see Levin Legend again in the loser bracket. Which means, uh, oh, it's Xbox versus Toshi, Fuji Guru up next. Fuji. Wow, otherwise you're working out well. <laughs> oh, so, uh, just so, <laughs> it's a shit post, okay. Oh, it's a shit post, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, thank just... you. It just looked like a like one of those like someone got hacked scam yeah. board, yeah. yeah. It it looks like Living Legend uh, let like uh, one of Kid Legend's friends browse on the computer and they clicked on it, uh, strange links that they shouldn't have. Speaking of clicking on strange links, uh, I don't know where Phoenix got all this evidence from on the ground, but uh, it smells of Saul Goodman. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that. Venom's a pretty easy person to get evidence against. I don't know about these other two. How do you connect, uh, collect evidences against someone who's not even on your planet normally, right? I mean, succubus mm -hmm. is, I think, follow contract law with, you know, sovereign citizens of various countries. Oh, no, that's sure true. She... Though, she probably has diplomatic immunity, right? Because isn't she the ruler of her domain? Uh, a little more than that, but, um... A little bit. <laughs> it, it's clearly bird law. Hmm. Oh, but Morgan out here gets another chance to live. How do you feel against the, about a Morgan versus the Pallet swap characters? Uh, we're only seeing Sakura here out of them. I think that Sakura is able to fare better than a lot of characters because she has access to Akumatatsus that cover the whole screen. 
Just want to get the unity bonus. Living with the data. Access to better DP assist from power swap characters might actually make a better chance of fighting Morgan. Oh, looks like some cell phones are coming up. And best Xbox uh, getting some summons on Morgan, but is eating a lot of chip from these cell phones. Oh, going on to those knives, and Zeno's managed to take a good third of Nova down just by being, start being annoying full screen. This would be a really good time for the trivia bot to you know, pose one of those Phoenix Wright questions. It doesn't it have like a 10 million Phoenix Wright questions because Kevin no. is a Phoenix Wright uh, appreciator? Yeah. Oh god. But uh, also has some Morrigan questions. Uh, the question right now, will Morrigan live? The answer is no, she is done. And the finger is such a good poke, it hits from a good, it's farther than Virgil stand H away. So Did you just say the finger is a good poke? It is, the finger is a very good poke. Uh, <laughs> if you Highly recommended if you're interested in poking, get interested in fingers, it, it'll work out well for you. Didn't work out well for Venom, that, though. Please, no, I, see, I didn't write it in chat. <laughs> oh no, Kevin <laughs> has the powers. I, and I it's 169. <laughs> oh, gosh. The other one. If, you're, if you're into... Uh, this is know. quote 160 died. No! Okay. Uh, this is what happens when you say things on the Hawvenger stream. You may be recorded for all of history uh, saying that Ooh. the finger is a good quote. But Speaking of, it, uh, I really appreciate history. Zeno's being right here. Right How do you feel you about that... Best Xbox no. King all this life? Go ahead. Just reminding you that anything you say or do in the Court of Marvel will be used against you. It's true. We remember it's shit true. forever. Yeah, someone will fall asleep at a tournament, and it'll be seven years later, and people will still not let them live it down. <laughs> oh, but the happy birthday here. Oh no, her fireball only OTP's one. And, yep. and that's why we use Sakura. Yeah, use the Shoken instead. Shoken's pretty great. Uh, Beam is also pretty great. Oh, the reason why he's not using my color is because it's uh, copyrighted. Mm. I will sue his ass. You, so you're gonna hire some Phoenix oh right to get the whole here? Attack. Ooh, gets the uh, TAC, and now Phoenix right is in the correct mode. Going to get some damage with Virgil. I don't know if Sakura can kill here. Oh, she could totally kill here. What was it's I thinking? Oh no, use the bounce already. <laughs> if uh, oh, Sakura. Oh god, sorry. The beam coming in from full screen, forcing uh, Xbox to use the X Factors, but I have heard that there is a question about where's the name on your color locating? Is bad? It's on the hoodie strings. So if you see Sakura's intro or her win animation or like her win pose, I guess it's called, uh, you can see it pretty well on the bottom of the screen because, like, I guess the camera's a little wonky, so she's like really like uh, deep on the windscreen, hmm. but you can see mm -hmm. it kind of well. You can see at least you can at least see where it says neck. Nice. Or I could just I, post I saw it very back. clearly on the last win screen. It, it who set it up in an ideal way to look good there. Yep. Thinking oh. of things, uh, I think Xbox just said, hey, look, Zeno, it says dead on the ceiling. And Zeno's like, what? <laughs> Ooh, looking like it here. But I don't think this kills, actually. Uh, nope. And now Phoenix Wright still has some fingers left. He's going to use them on Venom. Oh, no. Can one level of giant finger handle 19 inches of Venom? I don't oh. know if it's powerful enough. Nice. <laughs> I apologize. I, I, I could not but it looks like uh, time is running out for Zeno. He can't play this patient game any longer. Don't worry, the uh, Sephiroth <laughs> statue that's coming out next month for uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is 22 oh, inches. One more, one more. Xbox takes this round by biting the finger that Oh hit no, how did I get back to back quotes? Something has gone terribly wrong. <laughs> but you know, uh, uh, ooh, looks like uh, best Xbox here took the game. I uh, let's see if Nova's able to get the first hit. Maya, the lifesaver, getting in, getting that shield active. But oh no, Phoenix right hindered by drinking. And best Xbox one with the correct punishment that it's very hard to hit uh, Phoenix right through Maya. She will absorb lots of things. 
but you can always throw him. If you have a good far-reaching command throw like Wesker, it's easier. But for characters with good movement, you can just dash in and throw him when he's hiding behind Maya. Marvel is never going to live down the 19 inches. Uh, how do you feel about that charging focus attack so long in the wrong direction, Nick Bad? Are you uh, proud of Zeno? Well, yeah, because it probably still would have hit if Morgan was uh, right on her. Because it has a back hitbox for some reason. <laughs> oh, it does. Just did that. Ooh, and the beam is going to catch Venom. Doesn't have any more meter available. Another thing that's worth being aware of with focus attack is uh, if you haven't gone into active frames yet, you could actually cancel it like a normal in the specials. So in that situation, Zeno could have gone for a Shoken or a Toxic in the direction to try and get it back on deck. You have to enjoy it while you can because when the Sakura rework, well, kind of rework comes out uh, fairly oh, soon, the drain. Uh, we will have no more focus attack. Well, dang, Phoenix that's right. how it goes sometimes. Has three evidence. So but, Phoenix uh, Wright's done. Have to get in. Oh no! <laughs> and she stole it with the last bit. She was like, "Lawyer, you have nothing." <laughs> she stole his evidence with her soul drain. Yeah. Here I thought lawyers were mosquitoes. Oh my gosh, Morgan about to vanish. Zeno has the hit with Virgil. Goes for the dash up helm breaker. Mm -hmm. Is not gonna get to block in time, and best Xbox doesn't get the confirm. That is very unfortunate for Xbox because now he has to actually fight Virgil. Got the hit, going to be able to go into super. Does this kill? Oh hell yeah! It does. Hundred <laughs> percent. Hey, uh, shout out for the Xbox in there, recognizing that Xeno was playing Virgil buttons to study by a little too loud there. Those are those are some good buttons to study by. Uh, I definitely know that I've heard the theme songs from base game enough that hearing them is somewhat comforting. Everything is uh, able to be processed through, good for training. But let's see if we're going with the Phoenix Wright Dante Virgil. Do you think the Phoenix Wright's going to get a better chance to get going this time? Mm. It, well, it's Dante with Jam System, so it's probably a better get off tool than Maya. Yeah, and when you have both, it can be so hard to deal with Phoenix, right? Oh my gosh, and Zeno was able to get the hit. We'll need to check out the booze. Uh, looks like Phoenix Wright is being played by alcohol this year, but fighting against it effectively, always getting rid of it if it becomes a problem. Oh, went into the mode, but got caught out of it with the power of the Nova Fur Force. I, I almost said he could have fingered Morgan on a <laughs> Being able to finger Morgan is very important in this game. Uh, it will save you from all kinds of terrible situations, but you're already in a terrible situation because you're playing Phoenix Wright against Morgan at that point. No, Kevin. I, I got uh, one last You've time. already took it up. You have taken it up, Kevin. <laughs> I mean, we oh haven't cursed gosh. in like four yeah, minutes, so it is PG. We have been minutes. quite good. But, uh, great poop on uh, Venom here. Yes, indeed. Uh, though, if, if your Grey Poop on starts attacking you, highly recommend that you get a new uh, jar because it's not working out. Uh, Phoenix Better right here food going to... mm, That no. could be it. No, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> now, so, talking about the Carmel uh, Venom, he's clearly Honey Mustard Venom. Ooh, block that objection, and uh, let's see, do you think Zeno's going to be able to activate uh, turnabout mode this game? He's definitely going to try. I mean, Battery's going to teach Morgan about Tinder of how much he's flashing that phone. Wait, just uh, random, well, he's dead now, so that's not going to happen, but do you think uh, if you used objection on Venom's trap, it would work? It is part of Venom. Question. Uh, it doesn't style. have hurt spears in it, and uh, the normal would get rid of the trap, though, so that it would no longer have a hitbox that could uh, disrupt you. Ooh, Zeno showing why you kill Virgil. Uh, it turns out it doesn't matter whether it's clone engine, whether it's base game, you always kill Virgil, always. Oh no, is Virgil dead? Xbox just stole the house the with that one. Ooh, Zeno manages to get around, kills off Venom. 
Will he be able to get rid of Morgan? Not this game. And with that, Best Xbox One moves on in the learner side of the bracket where they are going to face Living Legend. Ooh, yep. that'll be a tough match. I gotta go play my match. Okay, I have a great Ooh, good luck, Nick Bad. The... Great question for the chat. You can ask... Oh, we're, we're getting some Joe? Joe Venom Virgil. This is fascinating. Uh, I feel like if Joe gets the red booms on screen, he could do a lot, but Deadpool is not an easy character to start establishing those red booms against. Mm -hmm. I believe I haven't seen a Joe player since Serpent Memories. <laughs> yes, uh, I think the uh, Snake is by far one of the best Joes out there, but also the, the runner of this channel, the Avengers. I, I talked about how they, they play the, the lawyer points, but that's not the only top character they play. They're also uh, a proponent of the views of Joe. Ooh. And nice Nick Bad gets that slide, but no confirm for Edzidite. Gets the throw here. Nick Bad stuck in the corner, and now Edzidite has tons of meter. Uh, if you were Nick Bad and you get a hit, would you try to snap Virgil, or would you just try to kill Venom? I mean, if I was Nick Bad, I imagine no. If I were me, yes. Oh, and she gets the install. What's the mix? It's a diet man to get out of there before that crouch light took him out. Nice stuff. And now Nick Bad gets the ground bounce into the wall bounce, but immediately dies afterwards. This is going to potentially be the end of Sakura. But if so, it's a diet's going to need to use a lot of resources to make it happen. Oh, let's see how much bar is going to get used. Here's one. Uh, do you think there's going to be DHC into Spiral Sword? Okay, here we go. Oh no, that but awkward. that launched Sakura way too far away. Summons that Sakura. Oh. Rapid Slash connects and the Spiral Swords is going to be enough here. Sakura is going down. Sakura! Okay, she is going down. Deadpool coming in. Manages to avoid the mix-up and hit Virgil. Please invest in resources, Nick Pat. And with that, this is going to be the end of Virgil. Uh, how do you feel about Dark Venom? We haven't really seen a lot of him. In terms of his damage output, gets massive while he's into that variation, so it should work. Oh, the amazing Rise of Rookies is raiding with a party of 43. Thank you, Rise of Rookies. Uh, for folks who are trying to get into Marvel, uh, base game or any of that, they are amazing folks that help people get from the point where uh, they're just starting with the game to being able to play against some of the best in the world. So if you are interested in learning about Marvel, please go give Rise of Rookies a follow, and check them out on Discord, uh, go to their tournaments, they can help get you into the scene. And if you're interested in some modern Marvel, uh, these uh, clone engine and palette swap uh, alternate each week, so you can get in on these tournaments that are playing right now. So, congrats to lovely Monica. Winning rookies and easy. Nice work, lovely Monica. Oh my gosh, Sakura getting the hit here on Spider Gwen. It looks like the team shift here from Ed Sedai. It doesn't want to stick with that Joe. Uh, gets the pixel Spider Gwen and can potentially do so much damage here. But those Hadoukens, so good at controlling space. That was a smart little uh, curve the gap there. And the snap happens. Thank you, Nick Bad. Oh no, but he blew himself up and now Ed Sedai gets the opportunity to hit with Virgil. Nice job confirming off of the Venom thing. Uh, has meter here, should only need one, maybe two bars to finish off this dead pool because the round trip here into Lunar Phase, no uh, Crouch H into Lunar Phase. Oh no, Ezzedai is uh, going to be potentially in trouble, especially if there's a hit here from, from Deadpool. No kill available though, and X-Factor Virgil will not be a factor this game. Uh, back to that conversation on Dark Venom. Uh, you said the damage is good for him, but not if he gets unblockable. How is he going to handle this remaining opportunity? There's no opportunities left. Nick Bad is seizing every single one of them, is going to shoot Venom into oblivion, taking the second game of the set. Hey. Thinking of Nick Bad's part, I wonder if uh, Ed's gonna change.
Oh my gosh, the new trivia is over 600 plus questions and took three hour, over three hours to get working properly? Thank you for investing in the community, Hobbengers. That is... Mm. What will he pick? Nickbad definitely was using some very powerful characters that uh, may have been in benefit of some adjustment. But looks like with his current team, he's showing that the Deadpool incredibly effective. Ooh, and Ed Tadai is going to full palette swap team. Decides that Virgil is not the answer and instead wants to have Cyclops and Thanos available. Uh, I, I'm not sure I agree with it for trying to win, but I think it's still a great decision for getting to explore and show off some of what these characters can do. Especially if he gets the initial mix up on Deadpool here and brings him back into the corner too. Very nice. Oh, that was not where he wanted to drop Deadpool. It gives him a lot of room to run away. Ooh, and the bullets are raining down. Going to go into Beam. Kills off Venom. Now it's up to Thanos and Cyclops. And Deadpool coming back in, uh, showing that it doesn't matter if you're a mad titan. Some guns in the face are not good for you either. Uh, Thanos here. Oh, and Ed Sedai ready for it. Notice that the bounce had already been used and swung as soon as this thing got back in. Oh, no DHC, but get the mix up afterwards. Oof. Brain check there. Ed pulled it off perfectly. Going to use the level 3? This should kill. And with that, Ed Sedai still has X Factor available in two characters, but Nick Bad has Strider, X Factor, and some Bar. This is looking pretty scary. Uh, Thanos is going to take a little while to kill, at least, which helps uh, the Cyclops opportunities. Ooh. Orbs activated. Can you block orbs? Uh, for a short period of time, yes, but not long enough to live through this game. And uh, X Factor activated, but Ed Sedai is not able to get out. I wonder if he went to Gene Splice or something to try and get through. Look at them Why is Big Bad so good? Taking that 3 0, just playing amazing. Remember, kid, some days he's Nick Good. Yes, uh, playing Nick Fantastic this evening. Uh, so that means that uh, Nick Bad. It's like financial quarter. Yeah, I guess, but still. It's like, hey, you know, we're gonna lean up on the uh, you know whole nudity thing. That'll surely be okay. Nothing. No one's gonna take it too far. Yeah, speaking of you know rich corporations being punished, uh, Wesker is taking a huge beating from Nova. Yeah, but these two play quite often, so. The only thing Legend probably isn't too familiar with is Venom. Everything else should be, you know, you know, like everything else. That was smart. So your opponent's just not going to react with Button. Put down that Venom Trap Assist. Now, luckily, Chris is a very healthy boy and can take uh, quite a few hits. I don't think that'll chip out. Because no, wow, God, I actually just chipped. Okay, he's got three bars and X. Oh my Ooh. God, you knew he was coming down with that. All you had to do was block. Uh, I think it was a spacing issue. I think, oh no. I will be the only one who lands a Raging Demon on stream tonight. Don't challenge Living Legend. He's too powerful when you challenge him. I do it one time. This dude does it like three times a night. Alright. And you can never, ever count out Legend's Akuma. I mean, I understand why Sakura does it. I've been sunburned so bad that I, you know, was considered a demon. Florida problem. Yeah, the Florida sun here is relentless. 
great transition. Uh, Legend's going for almost the full combo. Uh oh. Oh my god, Akuma. Now, don't get me wrong, everyone is, you know, getting the cold weather. But you know what? I will tell you right here and now, it was so cold in Florida today and yesterday that I had to put on socks. Oh crap, I have to put not wearing socks on things I have to do while in Florida. This is getting complicated. And it was definitely colder here yesterday than it was today. I think yesterday's low was probably low 30s, but today's low was probably barely 50. Okay, whoop. The use of X Factor just psych out Xbox there, but ooh, down zip almost perfectly punished. Jason, are you still out of the country? Where are you now? Patience and Xbox part, one up for him. Player one wins. Blue placed. I'm awesome. Nice. Jason Game Dev is like the current version of where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Where will Jason be after Tokyo? No one knows. Sounds legit. What a punish on that jab. <laughs> Is it me or like Xbox seems to have gotten Legend to the point where Legend's slowing down quite a bit and just trying to react? It is working though. Man, and it's really cold where you guys are at. You should probably put on some socks. Okay, is the OTG pick up? Oh, no! That was weird. Is that a Venom weird problem? Um, corner weirdness, I think. Wesker every so often has that issue. Oh my god, he just jabbed him. That was a great S, but unfortunately Akuma came out and kind of, well, not going to say ruined the plan, but... Oh, actually, just to make chat even... I don't know if this will make chat angrier, but I think it'll be funny. So, when it was about 30-some-odd degrees last night, you know what I did, chat? I got in my hot tub. Eh. I think they're expensive. Yep, they are. Speaking of expensive, uh, Legend's gonna have the bar? Yeah, just barely to kill here. Oh, that DHT from Chris can be a little inconsistent on the damage. What kind of copy was that? That's not a copy pasta, that's the actual reality. It just sounds like a copy pasta, so I had to post it. But I will say this if we even see a fraction of an inch of snow in Florida, we will collectively lose our shit. I am not no. joking. Speaking of losing your shit, that was two characters. Legend now has a considerable less amount of HP to go through to finish off Xbox here and advance forward in this bracket. Oh, wow. But Xbox is swinging. It doesn't care. extension. How often does Xbox actually play Strider? Uh, you know what? I'll be honest. I have never seen him play Strider. Okay, has access to the full pickup here, and if you spend the bar, I can guarantee Chris can kill Boom at this point. Yeah, and I know all you guys are used to the call, but you guys come to Florida when it's over 100, and I'm pretty sure most of you would just melt. 
uh, like the Wicked Witch. Plus weather here. Like, oh god, the humidity! Blah! Ah, running into the fire. I think I see he's taking the uh, you know notes from me. Good try. Legend's very patient here. Yeah, guys, if you are going to Frosty, make sure you like bundle up and take you know layers because it's supposed to be cold as fuck. I wasn't joking with about the towel on your head. If it's negative weather, it keeps the wind from cutting your face off. You're in Australia, but you live in Winter Park. That's quite a bit of a journey there. Uh, tug, uh, what was that? <laughs> Tuggles make muscle buns. We'd probably go down the, the list of safety hazards. Also, shout out to Fulzatsu. Awesome, man. Um, when you get to the winter Deadpool, because he can armor through some of the gunshots where Orange Hulk just gets hit, but. That extra air movement means a huge thing in itself. If you can be pinned here. Ooh. But uh, Deadpool here, not getting the confirm, manages to get Orange Hulk back to full screen, though, with help. Pineapple surprises, still quite good, even against mobile characters. And Nick Bad invests the teleport, and it is going to lead to a dead Orange Hulk. Oh, he did he think he had one less teleport available? <laughs> Shout out to beautiful sketch pad also. You do so much with the raid. Ooh, and it looks like uh, Sakura backing off. Doesn't want to interface with uh, Nova on his own terms. But then when she goes in, she goes in hard. Ooh, and this time it's them. the end of Nova is what it looks like. Going to take out this Nova with a beam finish. And it is kills off Nova. It hasn't lost a single character yet. And Orange Hulk is bleeding pretty badly here. Gets caught by the Mad Wheel. It doesn't matter whether it's Cyclops or uh, Psylocke or uh, Deadpool. Mad Wheel will catch people and they will feel sad afterwards. Oh, Sentinel from full screen. Do you think he's going to even get a chance to play? Over the. Uh... Well, that's an interesting route, but that should work. Oh no, uh, that caused a reset. Needed to go for Tatsu and Super there. It would have killed. Oh gosh, Strider, oh, Strider is dead. And the throw is on point. Too far away to make it work, though. Gets the catch with the 2M. This is looking really scary. Still has one third Vex Factor left, but Deadpool. Let's see if he could be defensive enough to get around this. Gets caught by the hard drive. This is going to be potentially the end of Deadpool. With X Factor, it's 100% the end of Deadpool. Make sure to taunt in the middle just to get the emotional damage. That's, that's some work. Oh, are we joined in chat by the amazing Aeonian? Uh, I, I hear that many people unhate this person and are brought plenty of joy by the fact that they are a good member of this community. Oh, Orange Hulk gets caught by the Bolo reset. And now, can Nick Bad kill off of this? Because he's got he a reset there. cancel there. <laughs> oh, gets the hit, kills off. Uh... Ooh, this isn't going to catch, is it? Sentinel managed right. to get out. Oh, and the dry tag as well. Uh, manages to get into install. Uh, she is safe when she installs. You do not get the Punisher for that. It's not like a Morrigan install where uh, there's recovery on. Okay. Oh, and there's cute emotes too by the beautiful Stitch Pad. What a cross but, Ooh, Nova's done here. Shouldn't even need to spend meter. And now. Uh, we have seen X Factor Sentinel be incredibly good for a 2 to max, but this is only a tiny fraction of the character left. Ooh. Manages to avoid with Deadpool for a while, but not long enough to actually survive. Gets caught, and after hard drive, there will be a confirm available. 2 to max gets the kill on Deadpool. Is down to a little under a third for their X Factor timing. Oh, and the beam is going to catch that foot. Leaving him out of pixel, but now Sakura is dead. 
Uh, X Factor about to run out. A little bit of chip is going to be enough to kill to the max. That was so close. Overthrow. Oh, but hard drive. Uh, Strider has very low life, so it is possible that if this is optimized, it's actually going to be enough. Second Tiny hard body. drive. No, this isn't going to be enough even with this. Oh, the blast hit of the microwave was enough. I thought it wouldn't be enough, but Strider was low enough health that the power of Kudamax's Sentinel is really on display here. Hmm. The anti-air jab. And I feel like Nick Bad has been doing really well in the first two thirds of the matchup, but that Sentinel has just consistently been so detrimental to his progress. Oh, you you were Ooh. underneath Hulk. Big mistake. Ooh, use the snap in order to get out of that one, but gets caught immediately and gets mixed afterwards. Because of the pseudo unblockable. Ooh, the jumping backwards S very good. Uh, Orange Hulk's jump S is good because he has better movement than Hulk, but it still has the same degenerate enormous hitbox. Uh, I think that the Tiger Knee Gamma Charge actually has more startup than the anti-air Gamma Charge in the follow-up to Orange Hulk. Uh, the the follow-up is very, very powerful. Ooh, it's right on Nova, yours. but... But we've seen that the real problem this entire time has been sent to him. Do you think that this time Nick Tide will be able to the hit but didn't get the confirm off of it? Who gets another meter out of two to match, but he is able to confirm the hyper central force and take the game. With that, two to max moves on to uh, the learner semifinals. Uh, I'm gonna have to hop off in order to Good play luck. my match against Remora. Good luck and have fun, Remora. I have a great question. Where is this copy pasta from? Clearly, someone must have said this at some point. Seriously. Alright, into our match. Mm. The transition angles pretty good at chasing, but Magneto's fast movement is going to make this a lot harder, I think. Access to jam session though does mean on a lot of more. I don't know, like. As long as I sure got the X assist, they can probably keep moving forward, but as long as jam is up, it's definitely weird because Rashid's dive kicks do take a little bit longer to move as he goes up down. And the old tactic for dive kick characters still works pretty well. There's a thing. Um, yeah, Magneto, one of the characters better at chasing airborne characters. But if he goes down, it becomes a lot easier to fight this era. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Samora going immediately for the reset, realizing they might not be able to kill efficiently. It didn't pay off, though. Okay, it's all King Thor so far. Is he the SCG extension? He does in the corner. Luckily, this does not scale that bad. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be careful about running away from X. His movement is just blitz fast. Okay, I see they're gonna go to beam. Oh, stays a blast. This is patience. Recognizing that uh, at some point, Moore is gonna probably photon her right out. This there is staggering things in such a way to bait it. Oh, so aggressively tried to, you know, sneak into that little hole. Remora got the Maybe, clutch. maybe she'll lift. Oh. Player two wins. Planned that pretty well. Hey, one up Remora. There's a reason why it's called SDP, Solo Doom Problem. Uh, Ramar doing a wonderful job of dealing with Rashid's last match. Ah, uh, no confirm this time. <laughs> the two assists traded. 
more egregious things about that exorcist is it builds so much far when you get all three of the pips to hit. And it's a great horizontal thing, but with Remora being an aerial combatant, sometimes it doesn't... Wow, what a chase. Well, Prop Shredder is the starter that was going to scale, but now he's oh. tagged. So Aw, damn it, Remora. You haven't had a single TAC all night, and you got my hopes up. What, you didn't see when Zeno did most of the Dante TAC? Uh, no, I wasn't. I think I was playing a match turn out for that one. Okay, this time Rashid living, though I think they're having trouble getting hard hits. Okay, immediately forcing him to double trigger to escape, stay safe, but nothing's catching. Okay, I feel like Dante is a terrible time trying to chase Thor up high like that. On the ground, it's a different story. Everybody chases Thor well on the ground. <laughs> what of a course confirm. you laugh this. <laughs> oh, you dropped the last part, Isisera. That was still really fucking cool. The news is X's tiny body did completely avoid that. <laughs> Or sing King Thor to the ground the best way you know how. <laughs> Alright, well this was the problem last time. Remora made the comeback with Doom. Oh no. Oh. I'm saved by Thor. Nice small profile there. Yeah, the crystal just has so much hit stun to keep you locked. Could I mean, I'll be honest. When I play against X in general, like, I don't know when it's my turn. Does that make sense? No, it does completely. Like I said, she, she staggers at Crystal because it makes people feel uncomfortable and think they can escape in places they can. That like is horrible. With eight seconds to go, Isisera's still barely in the lead. He needs one, like, Buster Super to really get a quick Did his in. jumping imp just nullify the projectile? It does right. that. Yeah, PlayStation fans be happy. X's Shockwave finishes it this round. It's still a lot of uh, match to go when Mag's back on screen. She just has so much trouble. The block though. Hey, you're more just <laughs> go for the easy route and kill. Perfect. Ah, she almost got the confirm. This character is egregious, but hard to execute combos. <laughs> I don't even know what he was doing, but he was definitely doing He was there. doing something he wasn't supposed to be doing against Magneto. Nice chase. Gem session is definitely going to be the tool. Oh, you may regret this. I thought Thor was going to snap Dante. This is so incredibly safe when you do it this way. Oh my god. It's just like a delayed full screen. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a great way to describe it. Ah, uh, dropped. Oh. Ah. So he's level one hyper. Thor delivers a full screen. Fuck you. Actually, I know we have a couple of modders there. Can we just get Thor's super to you know have the lightning spell out? Fuck you. Is that possible? I'm sure, but it might cost something. Atro. Nice confirm. Okay, stay in front. Ah, it's a bait. So I'm just looking to see if you can catch that foot dive. 
God, that confirmed. It's so sick that looking. Was sick. Some sort of special hell to kill Dune with his own photons. Again, incredible. Yeah, I don't think. Is Romar gonna change team? Force on to the actual chicken? Nah, I think he's uh, just getting a quick reconnect. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Uh, Avengers is coming to me. How good is EMC at this game? I've never seen them play competitively if every single character is designed around their high execution. I want to see EMC playing like an X Factory or something now. Mm hmm. Look, if Guile tells you to be a family man, clearly being a family man must be epic, so that's completely reasonable. Mm -hmm. Nice throw. God, I know Isocera knows she needs to kill this character out when she plays this character, but um, yeah, Rashid's damage always seems a bit of a letdown. I like how I or not I saw ever more a big zero, and that's what calls you know causes uh, two to max to call him a loser. <laughs> Yikes! Cold blooded murder at a very efficient meter. Okay, that's the problem with <laughs> zero. He can kill Thor even base roster Thor in one touch. Oh yeah. Which should be a forbidden number. And when he's getting lightning loot by zero, he doesn't look like he has that much health, huh? A million. Okay, this is a very Aww. reasonable match. It was a reasonable match. It's okay, Zero. X is still cooler than you. And to the max, do you know Isis here does not switch teams for anything? She switches teams per week, not per match. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we still don't completely know what her current vanilla team is. You did know that. Huh? How many weeks have you been here? That's where, man. Hulk players. All I can do is press H. Okay, is this a... Yeah, she's looking for a route out. This is a great way to true, uh... <laughs> slow down this character completely. Ow. Look at Doom's life after that. Almost, Almost dead. An instant kill. Yeah, I think they're making the most of this very weird theme combo. This could be a future fight in a future Mega Man game. <laughs> oh, they have fought before. <laughs> well, I know, but this could be another one. Except, you know, X has backup from Rashid from Street Fighter and King Thor from Marvel. Well, Zero has, you know, two villains as his backup because he is a villain. Also dead, so a little difficult in that one. Yeah, true. But he could always come back. He is a robot after all. I want Rashid to do something here, but he just situationally he's having a lot of trouble against some of these higher tier characters. Ooh, Ooh. mighty smash from the heavens! I don't even. <laughs> that didn't combo. It didn't matter. You couldn't get out of the chip. All right, good chicken block. Well, this was a good chicken block. block. That. Well, most of it. All right, uh, Rashid has one chance. Ah, yeah, that was gonna be hard no matter what. Most of his limbs are either stubby or have hitboxes on them, so oof, very hard match against. Virgil. Well, I guess Virgil wins again. 
I mean, come on, someone's gotta come back to fight him. And... Isis Air motivated is a terrifying thing. Projectile super. The other characters are real as well, or more. They just have less people who are practicing with them so far. Oh, and two to max. I think is two to max the first person to actually successfully block without getting mixed up part way through for the open of their own phantom chance this uh, this entire tournament. It's Nick a rare thing. It. Why does that combo build exactly one bar too? <laughs> Jeez. Wesker was kind of designed this way. He's very intention based in terms of his design, which means he's not Ooh, that outrageous. Nice. That dash crouch light in order to catch Doom there. Uh, Living Legend, a great example of protecting your assist. In this game, if you let people bully your assist, they will just kill them, and you need to make sure that does not happen. So, uh, Legend, great team management there, and the Tatsu is able to get the hit on Virgil. Oh Perfect crap. extra after. And with that, Best Living Legend... Best in this game is definitely Wesker. <laughs> Yeah, he has a command throw this one frame. A bunch of characters have supers that aren't even one frame. So what to say, for people criticizing, uh, people playing this for Clone Engine, part of Clone Engine is the fact that we have to comprehend what happens when you put two rosters together and the matchups that arise. It's all data-based. I, I appreciate getting to play the wide variety of things that this enables. And I just enjoy playing good people, so getting to play good folks regardless of their teams makes me happy. I just but enjoy I making content for YouTube. <laughs> well, if that's the case, you must be the star, Nick Bad, because you have your own Sakura skin bringing in the new aesthetics. You have access to cool teams that bring in a mixture of base game and the cool mod and stuff. So I'm sure it would make people very happy this evening. I'll say this, that I reminded that uh, my suggestion was that your jersey as a Sarah should say buckle up on the front. Buckle up. In the Marvel Spirits, we've always taken people for a ride. I, I've taken some folks for a ride, but I'm going to need to work hard if I plan to stay in this ride, because the amazing players remaining right now are so threatening. Tudamax about to lose his Nova though, and now Living Legend has access to almost 3 meters, so he doesn't need to use X Factor. He could just get a kill here with meter, or he could use X if he wants tons of meter for a Zuma. Oh, goes for the snap. Oh, mm. the symbol. I love it. The shimmy, it's so good. Chris doing what we all wish we could do. Yeah, in DMC6, can Dante get the demon-themed satellite missile? Hmm, in, wait, in which situation? Every time oh. Dante kills a, a boss, he gets a new weapon. Can he have satellite <laughs> missiles in Devil May Cry 6? Yeah, Devil oh, May Cry nice. 6 is going to have Dante and Virgil fighting each other in an old folks home. If they do, like the thing is, I bet it would be the most cinematic old folks battle ever. You would see the walkers be used to beat someone down to within an inch of their life. Uh, they would need to make sure that they hold on to their catheters and don't get blown up because it, it would be some high high action. But it looks like Akuma's dead here. Two to max making the comeback of Doom, taking out that Akuma. Uh, we all know if you let Living Legends Akuma live, you're you're not gonna be living for that much longer. So is he the legend or is Akuma? Oh. Ooh, ended up getting the snap there. Went for it, assuming that there would be the Phantom Dance, but didn't end up getting it. Gets the throw, though. And uh, let's see. Dashes back to make sure the Centurion Rush follow up will work out. Builds a meter here, but is definitely not going to be able to kill. What's the reset? Oh, gosh. That, that was, was interesting. Uh, yes. Ooh, the crouch light into throw was so good there, and this time he has the two meters on deck. Two to max is definitely going to be able to kill Wesker here if he so chooses. Uh, I would invest all the resources needed to kill this character. Don't don't hold it on to it. Getting the Magnum, super jump Magnum, not quite enough to kill Nova. And there's enough for Human Rocket available there, but gets caught by the grenade. This is going to be the end of Nova, and now Doctor Doom gets brought back into a scary pressure. 
Just, just zoom it over. He doesn't want to interact with his ground-based character. Ooh, but foot diving into the incendiary grenade didn't quite work out. But the Tatsu footsies that Living Legend plays so good, able to summon that assist, get the confirms, kill off Doom. Uh, the previous time he had snapped in Virgil, how do you feel about him not snapping in Virgil this time? Uh, possible mistake? Nope. Never oh, mind. Right. All part, all. Oh, oh no! Oh. Why did the 2 8 quick? I guess he was fighting the too access. late. Oh, no, it was it was that he's playing from a different coast. That, that is why that, that dropped. <laughs> nope. Oh, gets Overcome. the throw, however. Has X Factor. Oh, just level 3 to start it off. Maybe not even need to use X Factor, just level 3 into Flamethrower. Oh. All part of the plan. It was just the way. <laughs> Uh, it depends, rock mode, because it is possible for plants to be raised in non-vegan ways, especially if they're organic or stuff, but uh, it, it varies. <laughs> oh gosh, that overhead though is going to take Wesker, and Tudamax definitely builds up to 2 meters, should be able to get the kill here with the Sphere Flame DHC. Oh no, pixel! Oh no, not a pixel. Kudamax getting the opportunity to play some Doom, just hit Crouch M, and managed to fly to avoid it, but didn't get a uh, correct follow-up in order to still be in there. Yes, the throw, this is potentially the end of Chris. Would you invest next factor here? Yeah, I mean... Oh, down KC Chris... works too. This is a problem, At this point, Kudamax somehow... can... <laughs> Go ahead. Never the problem. So, uh, a problem Living Legend might have is this is a combo that could go on for quite a few Marvel seconds, especially with how high Chris's base life is. If 2 to max is just patient, he could make it so, oh, he, uh, if he doesn't drop it and he's patient, he could worn out a good half of the timer. But ends up being patient, goes for the beam here, catches Chris with it. Uh, Chris is not going to die, however. Oh no, Legend was just walking forward and got caught there. Uh, People rarely walk in Marvel, so I hope everything's going okay for him. Oh yeah, this is Ooh. right. Yeah, uh, Kevin's white parent forgot to cast protection from Derry on him as a child. I know it happens to some of us mixed folks, and I'm sorry for, for his loss. Uh, but this time, Tudemax tying up the score 2-2. Two to two. Yeah, not not enough of the protection from Barry, but very patient here, and this time Tutamax not going for the snap, but the Plasma Beam is going to catch Wesker, uh, lets him start to get pressure. Oh gosh, Living Lock. Legend blocked the overhead, but Advancing guarded it instead of punishing. So good. Ooh, got the snap here, Virgil coming in. I, I like snapping Virgil, but doesn't get the confirm off of it as desired. The teleport into Crouch Light. Ooh, drops the combo. Dry tag into Nova, and Nova immediately dies. Do you feel it's worth it to save this much of Virgil? Oh, it is oh. if you get to have Doom come in and hit Wesker, wasting Living Legends X Factor time without even needing to use your own. This is looking like a drop combo oh, no. for Dr. Doom. Okay. Virgil's gonna need to survive an incoming mix-up here. This is pretty scary, but if he touches the ground, it's looking kind of scary for Living Legend. Do you think Virgil will touch the ground? Oh, that was an Esta punish, and with that, Tuta Max gets going. Chris is going to fall in. Devil Trigger's activated. Has so much meter available. He gets thrown though, and this should be easily enough for uh, Living Legend to get the kill but drops it from the distance. That is a shame. And now, as a result, Chris is gone. Uh, almost, X-Factor's almost gone too, though. But if Max gets the hit, he has access to the level 4 available. And level 4 can definitely kill Akuma. Good air dash. Indeed. Going for some pressure with the HSHS. Oh, Ooh, the, the dive, dive kick. Catches. I'll do it. I'm gonna I'll have to advances. hop off to play Living Legend here. Good luck and have fun, bud.
He taught me how to do Death Fist, and I went two and two. Okay. I just era, I think, a strong learner in terms of a lot of things. And the last time it was Legend doing most of the learning, but I think Isisera now has to uh, adjust their curve and pick it up a bit. Yeah, the Marvel, the, blah, blah, I can't speak. The Marvel modded community are very nice. Just don't go into their Discord and ask them to make a character because they will lynch you. <laughs> Ooh. That's very reasonable, I told you. Tabs leaves the Harada Brigade. Great people, just don't ask them for shit. I don't ask for shit. Isisera oh, speed running for these very high HP characters. Oh my god, she managed to still block the grenade. I mean, I think this match is going to go to Isisera, but we've seen Legend do some crazy shit with Chris. He might punch a boulder. He might shoot a rocket from a helicopter. He might just hit you with a low and kill you. Ah, uh, that's the biggest no button I have ever seen. Guys, if you be super nice to Kevin, he'll finally release War Machine. Player one wins. I mean, just be you know, super nice to Kevin in general. If you want to go back to watching nothing or Minecraft streams on Wednesday and Monday? I don't. Yeah, uh, King Thor has a targeted Captain Corridor. Yeah, and do it in the air. What is it called? The lightning beam? He has beams that travel vertical as well as horizontal in three places, sort of like backwards purifications from Dormammu. It's a very weird character. He gets the pickup. Oh, wow. Okay, Thor's got the damage up, but look how much this does. <laughs> Alright, we're back to Chris. That's such a cool character. Okay. Going for the damage route. You get so much off of this. Captain Thorador. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, Shogun, though. Wow, that was the slowest yet most heat-seeking dive kick I've ever seen. Gets it perfect from Legend's Cranium. Does he get the second one? It does Rashid have a level 3? I don't think he does, right? Nope. He does have a ridiculous install. Alright, 2 0. Let's see if Legend can make a, uh, a change. Because, wait, didn't Legend knock Ice Sarah into losers? No, it was his Remora. Oh, that's right. I saw that. But last time, Legend almost made a full comeback. Yeah, see, so I. Oh, I started knocked LL into losers. Oh, okay. So we get the extension here. I swear it doesn't use the install much. Steals the corner, sets up the mid screen. I mean, that makes sense, Kevin, because Doctor Doom was Iron Man for a, you know, a little bit. So, making War Machine over Doctor Doom does make sense. We also have Iron Patriot as a skin, but that's Norman Osborn. I saw his response when he tagged another character, Backdash, and Call Lightning again. <laughs> I mean, other than Kevin working on uh, War Machine, or that's his project, I should say, uh, there's a lot of other... Uh, so many. So many, like, just to give, like, a few 
Holy shit. Stop electrocuting him! <laughs> Normal ass man getting hit by the thunder of gods. Thor, like, that taser stick's cute. My turn. Yeah, he, he has lightning loops too. Everyone has lightning loops. God, that's so... <laughs> you cannot chase when she has that DHT available. Yeah, I Cesar can play Zero, X, and King Thor Team Lightning Loops. I'm calling Ooh, it Team good grab. Samaki after the One Punch Man character. Alright. Thor versus Akuma. Or King Thor. <laughs> oh my god. That was incredible. Okay, we get more Marvel. Yeah, but before I got distracted by uh, so many light teams, uh, some of the characters in the works right now, I mean, you've seen Dan. He's the newest one. You have John Talbane from Dark Soccer's. You got, uh, who else? Uh, Shocker from Marvel. Uh, a thing that you've seen before, he just got released. Uh, ones that I know that are deep, like not even close to being out, would probably be like uh, Ruby Heart, Sandman, Nero. Nero, yeah. The patience. Yeah, Isis there is just gonna take it to the sky and then punish you. Where are you gonna run? Yeah. Oh, that we champ did. was incredible. Do you know how we have Wesker and Stars Wesker? What if we have Chris and Chris from that one Resident Evil movie where he does that weird gun fu thing fight? He put fights like that. That's the one Resident Evil main we don't need added is the cinematic universe Resident Evil characters. <laughs> Uh, no one is working on Juggernaut. I, don't I think it. there's a skin of Juggernaut, and that's about it. This looks like Legend is going to be able to take us to 2 2 again. Oh, yeah. Let's I... <laughs> oh, getting to the ground. Yeah. I think I necessarily learned that uh, she can't be doing that no more because, as good as that move is, you know, jumping up and grab is the actual counterplay oh, to it. Yoshi is working on Juggernaut. Is he going to oh, really? have the invulnerability glitch? No. It'll probably be an install and you can just, uh, you know, swap them out. <laughs> and is he, uh, I assume Juggernaut Crush is going to be an assist. Wait a second, I have a question for Yoshi. Eternal Yoshi, maker of Juggernaut. So which color of Yoshi is your favorite? He's gonna be so close to killing. Okay, the fact that Legends out of meter gives us there a brief moment to rest, but I mean, we can't get hits with King Thor. It's not gonna go anywhere. The Legends starting to just catch you every time you do it with a throw. Yeah, that's the plan, though. Oh. Well, I guess Magnum lightning. just goes through, like, you know, God Thunder. <laughs> it's uh, made of the same material as the hammer, clearly. Damn, that did actually... Cause, you know, that super is not going to do the most damage in the world by a long shot. Still does a decent amount. Nope, went for the grab again. Good block on Legend side. Nice low to the ground throw. Get all the confirms here. Okay. I would say my favorite Yoshi is the uh, 
like the royal or navy blue, like the dark blue. Which I guess might like, be the regular blue, but I think there's like a dark blue uh, Yoshi. Wait, here's how Isotherap pulls off the comeback. Kills you really fast. Oh. Tries to go for the under shimmy. Oh, gets the hit, but does not finish it. Okay, well, she's not been confirmed, but that was a lot of life. Ah, so wow. oh, damn it. Even An X explodes into space dust. I see us out of lives. My favorite Yoshi color is woolly green. Alright, night, Jason. Stitch. Bye. So, that would look pretty cool. Hey, nice stage for the last fight. Or last uh, matches, I should say. The fact that like they had all these weird yellow like platforms in Street Fighter 6 makes this feel even more like Metro City. Oh yeah. I think uh, Capcom needs to release Akuma fairly soon. Their uh, last couple of announcements and uh, dealings have not been <laughs> too good for PR. I would rather play on a big, full green screen, like in Lytheros' video, than play on Bond Wonderland. I think... Jeez, Remora, how do you have this much... Wow, what a grab! Late at night. Wait a second, I just noticed Legends using Doom. It took me that long to realize that. I was wondering. Yeah. If you guys didn't know, Legend does play other characters in Wesker, Akuma, and Chris. He has a pocket Doom and a pocket Dante, I believe. Yep. I've never seen any other pockets in that. Oh, wait, no, does he also have a Magneto? Yeah, I agree with that, Kevin, but they also don't know that, you know, Trombon is like one of the very only legal stages that, you know, works for permanent purposes. Yeah, I, I knew Legend had a pocket menu. Yeah, that's also true. Could be worse. Um, some games have uh, done stuff like modded the backgrounds in certain games to have less detail or less moving pieces so they didn't lag. Yeah. Weren't some of the stages in Street Fighter 4 like stupidly laggy? Or am I thinking of something else? Oh, yes. It was a lava stage, right? I thought the half pipe stage was played at least a little in like, some games. Weirdy Jackie, thank you for the follow. Kevin will now give you a high five in chat. Meanwhile, uh, Akuma is about to be high fived to death by this robot of the human face. Okay, easy pickup. We're more just. One Buster, one Lightning, one Ultimate Break. Jeez. Alright, and Remora is on match point. If he wins one more, he wins the entire thing. Yep. Oh, the small airport Africa was a great stage. I like the... the music. Oh god, what is that chick's name? Uh, the Capoeira chick? Elena? No. Is it Elena? No. Yeah, Elena. It is Elena? Okay. Uh, I know she wasn't in the base roster, but when she was at it, that... Well, I don't know. Was her stage? Like the uh, Safari African type stage? Nope, was that, that was in already the base? in there. Okay. Yeah. No stages for the DLC characters were added because those were just cross Tekken stages. Yeah, that stage was my favorite. Like the dinosaurs. Hidden Retreat music is baller. I love how that's in Smash Brothers. 
for as much as slack as the game got, uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken had some bomb ass stages. <laughs> it has lightning. Wow. Oh, that almost dropped. Wow, he did a variation. Roar feeling himself. People absolutely despise Elena in Street Fighter 4, but I thought her gazelle costume was really good. Really? But I can't do her voice. You forgot about Get Real. Yeah, Street Fighter Cross Second was not that bad. It was just how they tried to implement the gems. Gems were bad. The initial damage and scaling were a little iffy. Um, also, the early versions of the net code were dog and doo doo. Ooh. Nice throw break. He also just lagged a lot at launch. The commercials were funny as hell, though. Yeah. Or not the commercials, the uh, YouTube videos they did. But you know what's going to be a pretty short... Uh, wait a second. Oh my god, he's... Nick, you've been ousted. Damn it. He did a uh, Raging Demon. Now my Raging Demon will be useless. Mm. Nice try. Legend's last course of this tournament was to oust Nick Bad. What a legend. Uh, it is what it is. And Clone Ed, uh, Clone Engine number 11, the first one of 2024. Your winner is Ramora. Good show. First of the year. I hope everybody's had a wonderful Martin Luther King Day.